Hi guys, welcome back to Hit Point In. My name's Raval. Today we're going to be starting a new playthrough in Star Sector because I've updated the game and I've added a fuck ton of mods to it. Uh, mods will be in the description of the mod list will be in the description of the video. And you, for the chat, you can type an exclamation point mod list and you will know exactly what I've added. So let's go with a new game. Uh, they've added some portraits that I think came with the mods. I think I'm gonna go with, let's see. Mm -hmm. There was a dude, oh, this guy. We're gonna go with that guy. Let's see, it's a bit too OP, but well, they'll probably patch it. Probably. You bought Warhammer 2 a couple of days back for like 8 euro. Congratulations, dude. Have fun with it. There's a lot of cool shit to do. Okay, name will go Reval... Briggs. Let's go with that. A mod, mod list, really. One word. That's my point, mod list. I am going to go with a young system. Hotter stars, more planets, more mineral resources, fewer habitable worlds. Uh, just so the f major factions have something to fight for. <sighs> moss list? Yes, moss list. Okay, um, deactivate health pop-ups. We're already playing in Iron Man mode because we simply will not save scum. Uh, sector size on normal. Let's fucking go. So, let's start playing. Um, I will show you guys a few of the factions that were added. The Anarakis Reparation Society. Uh, these are kind of paid mercenaries. Other factions pay these guys to sponsor uh, them to fight against their enemies. They will randomly fight against uh, other factions. And they have some really cool blue-themed ships that have a lot of lightning and logistics to them. Also, I noticed that they have a tendency of going for long range. Uh, pretty cool, and they have a very cool weapon that I really like from their faction, the Plasma Driver. I'll show it to you guys. Uh, Grim and Grave was included, but that's the only character DLC, right? Uh, Grim and Grave, that is adding, gives you access to two new lords. If I remember correctly, that's one of the weaker ones. If I remember for the DLC. Uh, Hordak, let me just focus a little bit on uh, the discussion and then we'll talk about other stuff, okay? Once we get at the game. Uh, Diablo Avionics, a uh, super fun faction. Red, dark red themed. Um, a lot of... Practically, what's their shtick is their, they they feel give you this weird imperial feel. They have a lot of um, cool laser beam weapons, and their squadrons focus on s the giant mech robots called Wanzers. It's it's pretty fucking cool, pretty fucking cool. And um, it, they have, I think, one of my my favorite weapons in the games, the Burchells, uh, which are just long range lasers, red lasers. If you if you have seen the flashlight beams from uh, Imperial Guard, it's literally that. Only cool. Only cooler. Okay. Uh, Grim and the Grave was with the vampire dudes in Britannia. Uh, Grim and the Grave is vampire as an empire. That's what they add. Okay, a uh, Great House of Kassadar. Uh, that is a faction, an independent faction, actually. Uh, so they're in the independence squadron of factions. Uh, they have big, bulky, inefficient weaponry. Uh, but they have very, very cool, awesome ships that we're going to be playing around with. My god, the Nibelung, my favorite ship in the game. Love it. Hegemony, Vanilla vanilla Faction. Yeah, these are the new factions that I... Th these are all of the factions. We're going through the one at a time. Hegemony, it's your typical Hegemony. They have some extra ships. Allegio Infernalis, a bigger, more organized, and scarier pirate faction. They will fuck shit up. Also, you can see a few of the ships going in the background. Okay, let's see. Lodic Church from Vanilla, Lodic Path from Vanilla. The Mayasura Navy. Um, so the Mayasura Navy, uh, these guys are similar to the Persian League, I'd say. Uh, they're quite vanilla in their style, and 
their ships look yellow. That's kind of it. I haven't really played too much with them, and I'll have to check them out a little bit further together with you guys. Uh, the ORA. Now, the ORA is a religious themed faction. They have a lot of big purple ships with a lot of lasers beams on them. All of their weapons have some form of religious connotation like choir emitter or stuff like that. I haven't really played around with their sh with their ships a bit, but they have a lot of energy slots. Uh, Persian League uh, ORA has a cool design, but most of their stuff sucks with AI pilots. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll test them out. Uh, Persian League Vanilla faction, not really much to talk about. They're practically the midline. Um, it's hegemony with, with a more focus on midline. Um, my Asura Navy have upgraded versions of most midline ships. Yeah, 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 exactly. The My Asura Navy also focuses a lot on midline ships. I should mention that as well. Okay, then we got the pirates. You're basic dudes, but I've added a lot of extra pirate ships, so their arsenal is a little bit more interesting. Then we have the Psy Nation. Uh, eggheads focus on high tech high-tech and midline ships their ships are quite compact they're small but they have some interesting daca and missiles and lasers that you, we can play around with then we got the shadow yard uh, now shadow yard is very weird looking they have this aquatic feel they have this aquatic feel with a with a big focus on um energy weapons but it's it's um Pellet energy weapons. It's well, not pellet energy weapons. How would I say? Uh, pew pew instead of zoom. Instead of yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Those are the words. Instead of continuous beams, they have more like over energized the Daka energy weapons. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they have a few really good small weapons for close engagements. I think one of the best is called the Echo Meter with 400 range, but 1,400 damage. Damn, dude. We'll have to check that one out. Uh, Sinjia Dictat, uh, Vanilla Faction, uh, they are low-tech to mid-tech ships. And interestingly enough, all of their ships have solar, solar protection because their system, Asconia, is uh, has a very very powerful star and a lot of their planets are close to the sun uh so they gotta protect their ships in fun fact tritachion corporation vanilla game high tech focus blazer beams go brr, uh obsessed with ai and it's rumored that, that the ceo of tritachion is actually an ai himself or herself okay those are the factions we will go for free start because we want to see as much of this shit as we can but we will choose a bigger fleet. We're going to go with carrier large this time around. So we start off with a Heron, with a Hammerhead, and a Brawler. Nothing really big. So even though it says carrier large, it's just a Heron that's the bigger that's a bigger ship. Uh, we're going to be getting that just so we don't start off you know, from super, super low. We did that last time. We kind of have an idea how to do it. Selling drugs. Uh, so we're just going to go with something a bit bigger and a little bit extra staying power. So let's go. Carrier large. And I'm going to be selecting the second one, Lieutenant, so we can get some extra money and an, an officer and three levels uh, just so we can get a Colossus or a freighter ship as soon as we can uh, so we can get the ball rolling a little bit. I could go Ensign, but that simply means that I'm going to be doing a few extra runs between systems or stuff like that, so let's just go with Lieutenant. Okay, um, so I'm playing around with the builds, and to be honest, my favorite build is to go... Um, I I've tried both of these. I can still stealth my way through everything uh, without have getting sensors, so I don't feel like it's super needed. I, I'm okay. I'm okay with just going navigation, just getting the extra speed, and that beautiful, beautiful transfers jump is amazing when you want to infiltrate in a star system. So, from a stealth perspective, I, and, you know, mobility in general, just navigation is the way to go. Uh, then I go for gunnery implants. I uh, prefer the gunnery implants. Energy weapon mastery is if you really want to go with short-ranged energy weapons, uh, so think along the lines of uh, Sunders or small little fast frigates that you're going to be putting ion pulsers on and you just go brah in close range and close proximity. So if you plan to strictly 
play with uh, close quarter combat ships, get energy weapons, but I prefer the gunnery implants because, well, it helps out in, uh, in most situations. Helps out in most situations, besides the fact that I prefer to have weapons on auto fire. Um, helps both at short range and at long range. And we get that 6% ECM rating. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to be getting those. And I'm going to be activating its elite status. And then, um, after I get these two, I don't go up to special mod. I don't really go up this tree anymore. And I instead, I start focusing on industry. I definitely get bulk transport for extra cargo fuel and personnel capacity. And it, this also increases the burn level of all non-militarized civilian grade ships by one. But again, non-militarized civilian grade ships. As soon as you militarize the, that civilian ship, this bonus is gone. But so, so I, I still get this because of the extra capacity. I don't go for salvaging because it's just resources and salvage it doesn't give you extra blueprints it doesn't give you extra specialized goodies um so yeah bulk transport is the way to go and then i go all the way up to here so from this section i usually just go for extra operating time yeah no more rare shit uh, so i just go with reliability engineering for extra operating time and extra combat readiness um then I get containment procedures for... No, no, not for your consumption. Uh, makeshift equipment, this one, to reduce monthly supply consumption. Uh, usually I like to go for this because I'm going to be needing the supplies for exploration stuff. So the more... Uh, the less supplies I use to maintain the fleet, the better. And... Yeah, I just like this one. Plus, minus 50% resources required to survey planets, and you're going to be surveying a lot of planets to find that good shit system that you want. And then I go for field repairs, uh, just because that uh, recover ships have fewer mods on average, and chance to remove one demod per month from a randomly selected ship is so fucking good. So overpowered. I love it. And I'm not going to go with the neural contingency to focus on demods, so field repairs is my jam. Although, for neural contingent, I do recommend if if you're going for a pirate uh, pirate playthrough, where you're just going to be using a lot of demodded ships, you'll want neural contingent. And then I stop here, and then we'll stop here, and because uh, for industrial planning, which I'm going to be going for late in the game, I will be going for it later in the game when we actually are getting our hands on a colony. Uh, so once I get to field repairs and we're going to go back into the technology tree, we're going to check, take electronic warfare or fighter uplink, depending on what we're going to be focusing on in the fleet. Although if I am going to be focusing on fighters, I'm going to try to focus on low, either AI controlled fighters or uh, low crew member fighters, so fighter uplink isn't really that useful just for the extra 25% top speed. Eh, I prefer the electronic warfare. Uh, this simply guarantees that our weapons will have a higher range than the enemy weapons, so I prefer electronic warfare. Uh, then for this, you got to choose between um, if you're if you're going to be focusing on a fleet that has a lot of phase ships, clearly go phase corps. Uh, but I really like flux regulation. All ships have better dissipation, so they don't overload that much, and they can shoot more. And then, um, if you're focusing on... Hey, Sean, welcome back to the end. If you're going to be focusing on uh, getting as many AI-controlled ships and stuff, definitely go for automated ships. Um, also, this works very, very well if you're going to be going for a Frigate Wolfpack tactics build. Uh, but if not, get special modifications. Uh, just adds extra vents and capacitors to your ship. Uh, well, you can put in extra vent, uh, vents and capacitors, as in the upper limit goes higher. And the sh the amazing part of this is you can build in one more permanent hull mod. So that OP capital ship that you're currently rocking, you can make it even more powerful with an extra hull mod so yeah that's awesome once we get to special modifications i will be going into leadership uh the combat tree or how the community calls it the selfish selfish tree I, I think nemo came up with that term uh, but the selfish tree is really not worth it because in theory you're going to be a, a good enough pilot to not rely on these uh plus you already have gunnery implants 
which should be enough for your shtick. You're going to be relying more on your ship rather than your personal skills to do the deeps. Plus, don't worry, uh, your officers will going to be filling up these roles no problem. Usually your officers will, give you, will be able to get all of the combat, anything from the combat tree, uh, plus some um, damage control or reliability engineering, and they can also get gunnery implants and energy weapon mastery. I think those are the skills that officers can take. Uh, so I would definitely go into leadership, which I'm going to be going for weapon drills, into coordinated maneuver. Um, again, I don't plan on going for a wolf uh, for a frigate-focused fleet, even though it is very popular right now. I'm going to be going for coordinated maneuvers just to get that extra speed for all ships. And then um, you'll have to choose between crew training or carrier group, uh, depending on what type of fleet you have. If you're, if you're heavy, heavy fighter-focused and you're not using AI ships, AI-controlled ships or low crew ships, uh, ships as in fighters, uh, definitely get carrier group. If you are use, if you don't focus on fighters, or you're not using, or you're not using a uh, crew focused fighters, go crew training. Uh, extra combat readiness and peak operating time. Literally, you can fight longer with your ships, and that's awesome. It, it affects including carriers as well. So why not? Why not go for this? Okay, then um, when it comes to officer management and officer training, I like the extra level for your officers. Um, so instead of having five skills, they'll have six skills. Uh, but if you feel like you just want to go officer focused, practically if you're going to be going for a frigate wolf pack build with automated ships, I would get officer management just to have as many officers as you can because the wolf pack tactics skill only affects frigates with officers. That includes AI control. I'm um, sorry, AI, you know, alpha core control ships as well. And then uh, the last one that I'm going to be getting over here in the stream, I'm going to go all the way. Uh, I will probably be getting ground operations because I really like the the uh, Marines and soldiers mechanics that they've in integrated into the game. Really, really having fun with it. So for me, this is fun, but if it's not your thing, if you don't want to utilize, you know, Marines and sabotage facilities and stuff like that, you could just go Space Operations. Uh, just makes um, your colony have greater accessibility, so higher population growth and 25% fleet size. It's not that the scoff at bigger, meaner destructive ships and then after i get after i reach here the last point that i'm going to be getting will be into industrial planning uh simply because it makes the colony that i that i'm uh, currently governing uh, higher production and the quality of the fleet is that much better colony management if you want to get extra stuff but i usually just give other people um you know manage colony thingamajig so that's cool that's cool yeah, I, I feel like that's the best build that I found in the current game. Um, if you guys have any improvements, you know, improvement suggestions, let me know. And we will adapt as we go through the game. All right, start game. That was enough explanation, sorry about that. But I'm sure some people were interested in uh, in seeing what, what build we're going for. Okay. So, we have begun a free start. Let's see. We're in Esconia, by the looks of it. Yeah. We're in Esconia. A, a lot of things have been added. We're going to go fuel range. We're going to activate Constellation, so we have all of the information that we need. Currently, we're in the Core Worlds. Um, some new factions. I will be, we're going to be showing you some new... The new factions, where are they located? Uh, so, I think... I think, let me see, I never figured out where the Psy Nation is. Where are they hiding? Until the Persian League. So, Persian League over in this area. To the northwest, we have the ORA. Uh, then to the west, directly, we have the Legio Infernalis Boys. Uh, the Cabal, which is high-tech 
posh pirates, uh, the Cabal usually uh, sticks around uh, Tritachion. Uh, they they spend time with them. Shadow Yard is usually in Esconia in the northeast. Diable Avionics is having a staging ground over in the eastern sector at the 86 RN Star System 99 and the outer Terminus Star System. So they just launch raids and attacks from there. And then who else? You had a Psy Nation. Where are they? I haven't really seen. Oh, also, Casadar is somewhere in the north, right? Is that still a thing, I wonder? Or that they moved that around. Oh, yeah, there's Lethia. There's Lethia with, with Kassadar. Uh, usually, if you go to Kassadar, just have a lot of money on you because they sell the big ships. So once we are swimming in a little bit of cash, we will go to Lethia to Kassadar to go ship shopping for something big and sexy and destructive. Okay, and... Oh, there's Psy Nation to the southeast. Acheron domains their main... Uh, their main system. Okay, that's it. Got Chivalry 2, great game, there are a bunch of things that annoy you about it. Like what, Elated Mongo? Alright, so first things first, let's go into Sindria and check what the hell do we have. So we got some men. We probably have a shit setup. Um, makeshift shield generator and expanded uh, magazine not spec that's gonna be that would be useful but not just now we need to focus to use our current money to get ourselves a freighter a cargo ship because uh, currently we are rolling with a heron which is a carrier ship a fighter ship uh carrier that utilizes fighters and then we got a hammerhead which we're going to be using to fight uh, Rev, do you have a favorite fast food restaurant? I had a favorite fast food restaurant. It was called Big Belly. Um, that was in uh, Cluj. But since now I'm in Zalo, I'd have to say uh, KFC, I think, is my favorite um, fast food joint here. And then on second place would be the Supremo pizza joint. Again, over here. Local fast food chain. So. Is it? It's great. Only problems are some weapon balancing issues, but you would recommend it. Okay, that's nice, man. That's nice. Sometime. Okay, Hortzak, if you wanna, if you wanna talk about uh, Hortzak and Robson, if you wanna talk about uh, Warhammer, you can go for it. Uh, let's see what did I got. So yeah, holy fuck, I I didn't, I didn't even see these ships before. They have a high tide. I wanted to go for a high tide focused build, and I actually managed to get. Uh, quite a few high tides in my personal playthrough. Um, so what, what's a high tide? This is a Pylum Lover's Wet Dream. It has four Pylum, inbuilt Pylum Wave weapons. It just shoots rockets out of everything. So um, that's cool. But, it, but I, I still need an ECCM package. So what's the problem with the high tide? Um, you want the ECCM package for better missile guidance, and you would want an officer who is missile specialized on the high tide, and you need money to maintain the high tides, because the shitty thing about them is that if you... These, these are civilian ships. If, and usually I want to militarize it, if you militarize this ship, it requires a whopping 400 crew to keep it going so if you want to go for a uh for a pylum barrage you'll need money you'll need a lot of money to maintain such a fleet uh, i'm not going to be getting that shit sadly because it's too expensive but we'll see later it seems there are there are colossi here this is literally the ship that i started with on the first ship that i always get is a heavy freighter because that shit's good which DLC should you get first for both Warhammer games? Um, Portak. I'd recommend that you check out and see uh, what factions you have available in the base game. Um, you know, st start learning the game a bit. Try playing um, Empire or High Elves. Those are good starter factions because they have a little bit of everything. 
And then afterwards, once you get a little bit familiarized with all of the factions, choose the faction. You know, if you see a faction and you're like, oh my god, that faction is cool as fuck. Uh, then go for the DLCs for that faction. You know? Just so you play with them and have fun. Uh, the cool thing about Warhammer is um, you can fight against everything, against all DLC factions. You just can't play with them. That's it. So, uh, yeah, that would be my suggestion, Hortak. You were thinking about Tomb Kings? Uh, then definitely you need the Tomb King DLC. Uh, but Tomb Kings are a little bit tricky because they are a very low economy faction with a lot of uh, expendable units. Uh, you might want to just learn the game with a more basic faction first, you know, with a beginner friendly faction, and then go for the more specialized factions like, in this case, the Tomb Kings. Okay, so back to the game a bit. Let's see what do we got here. So just to explain a little bit about some of the new ships that are in the game. Henchman Troop Ship, that's going to be a useful ship that I'm going to be needing uh, because it has a ground support package. So this practically helps um, your Marines in fights on the ground. So that's just a kind of a support ship. We were not generally going to be using it on, in fleet combat, just on ground support. So that is gonna be cool. Um, Tarsus Freighter, Phaeton, I'm gonna be needing one later. Uh, Bento Armored Tanker, so practically it's a DRAM with better uh, defensive capabilities. Buffalo, a Challenger Frigate, a small combat frigate. They, had a new, they added a, some new cool frigates. I, re I personally like the Swordsman. Uh, Frigate, if we're going to be finding some, I'm going to be showing it to you. It's a, it's a really cool ship. Kind of a... If I were to play a, a sci-fi game where I own my own ship and you go on adventures, think of Mass Effect or something like that, I would definitely get a Swordsman. Holy shit. Small, fast, quite versatile. Would love that ship. Uh, Fury Fury Defiance Missile Cruiser. What the hell is this? Two small ballistic, four medium missiles. Whoo! Oh boy, that's a lot of missiles. Four small energy, four medium hybrids. Ooh, shit, four medium hybrids as well. Crazy. Uh, would you play Star Citizen? Lots of ships. Um, what's the current state of Star Citizen, Sean? What are they doing? Also, do I have to sell my kidneys to buy a ship in that game? Is that still a thing? Uh, barbarian cruiser this is this is the pirates yeah this is a hack job design ship uh, this this is a ship that barely holds together and this is the pirates attempts to actually make a broadside ship has a lot of small ballistic uh points on the eastern side over here that's pretty cool a hawk pirate variant uh this is actually from the uh repertory so society and we're going to be having a look at those guys soon. Honestly, don't know, but it's really expensive to get a ship. Okay. A mongrel venture Colossus MK4, a Bronco missile destroyer, two medium missiles, one medium ballistic, three small ballistics. I So with a Bronco, I would probably just put Re uh, a Reaper and a Sabo. And then in the ballistic slots, I would just put PDs or maybe uh, HVD on the medium ballistic. We'll see. They decided to expand the size of the game too much, and now they can't come through. Right. Yeah, I I hope they're gonna be bringing us something stable. A bully. Uh, the bully destroyer is a ship that is very very powerful against frigates. It's a frigate destroyer, but it's quite horrible against other destroyers so that's why it's called the bully because it bullies smaller ships interestingly enough uh there's a pest there's a gremlin i want to take a shepherd to drone so first of all i'll be getting a colossus we'll take a mint condition colossus for now mm, actually what's the d mods on it compromise storage fuck no increase maintenance no i'll just get a mint condition one Good. And that should... Ooh, cutting it close. Cutting it close with finances. I'm not going to grab a Shepherd drone yet because I'll need some of the money to 
equip the Colossus with what we need. And we'll want some scratch, some money to start shifting, um, to, well, to equip the rest of the ships and to start shifting some cargo around. Okay, uh, first of all, I am going to be taking the helm of, uh, the Hammerhead. Um, usually, usually the carrier ships are very good in the hands of the AI. Uh, try to stay away from them. Uh, of course, that doesn't mean you can't play with, a. Uh, with a carrier ship, it is quite fun to just be like, Go, my minions! Bring me their heads! <laughs> and then your flying rabbit spider monkeys are gonna go and uh, bring Dorothy and that little dog to her. You know, because that's fun. So you can do that. It's, it's a pretty cool feeling to see your fighter jets just be like waiting for your command, and then you're like, Go! And then vroom, they go and just destroy everything. I know, I know. Very vivid imagination. You can you can already see it just from the sounds of the sound effect sounds that I make. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's just go through the ships. Also, of course, if you guys have ideas for names for ships, please let me know. Usually, my I personally like the HPI Zodiac. When it comes to uh, my first hammerhead, I'm just gonna go with the HPI Zodiac. Spider missile Rex and blasters are off. Integrated targeting unit is love and life, so I'm gonna be keeping that clearly. I think the only thing that I'd change on the current setup is probably replace these PDs with Vulcans or Bongos. Uh, I'll Bongos are a new uh, PD weapon from I think the Repertory Society. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Volkite battery. Uh, this is a... Remember the great houses, the Kassadar guys? Uh, this is one of their weapons. It, it They all look medieval, antiquated weapons. They have this uh, medieval hierarchy vibe. Um, focus. So let's see. Heavy mauler, heavy machine gun. Ooh, I can actually go SO with this. Short circuit driver. So this is a short... Um, a short range HVD, hypervelocity cannon, with a higher focus on uh, um, ion damage. On f so that's interesting. Uh, the only problem with it is, well, besides its range, its projectile is a little bit slow. So that's why it's not really that fun. I am not seeing anything interesting. Um, I, we will definitely keep an eye out for mining pikes so there's a new weapon in the game a mining pike which is used for you guessed it mining but it is just such a cool type of weapon it practically shoots detonated detonator charges at the enemy so it's so it's a salvo round that shoots towards the enemy and once it hits impact on a hull it latches on and explodes after a period of time it, it's literally a weapon that's used to break down asteroids, but we're going to be using to break down ships. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to showing it to you guys. Um, instead, I'm going to be taking those two heavy maulers because um, it's going to compensate. It's going to help out with those rail guns. For the missiles, I'm actually not going to be putting anything here because I'm not really using missiles. Might add the, sal the salamanders for extra support. Let's go for the salamanders for now. Uh, vent it up. That's that's okay. I don't think I... Mm. Can I add a flux distributor? I can. It does really help out with much, but it will do. Okay, so this is going to be the setup. Um, rail guns are perfectly fine to break down shields. I'm not really seeing anything further interesting here, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I'll probably put the Vulcan cannons on, though. There we go. Yeah, the Vulcan can- I prefer the Vulcan cannons over the, um, PD lasers, cause... I don't know. I don't know, they feel- I feel like their DACA is a little bit better. Higher damage and stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how they perform. Um, this- this can be subject to change. Okay, so this is gonna be the current setup for now. Uh, keep the Sally's shooting. Good. Keep the heavy maulers shooting for now. Next. Ooh, there's actually HVD here. Um, nah, I'll rely on the railguns for now. 
So what can I do with this Brawler class? Um, let's see what's the recommend. This is an escort ship. Right, let's see what's the recommended builds. Uh, two and I are rocket launchers with two Arbalest auto cannons. So the cannons are there to uh, strip shields, and the Annihilator rockets are there to destroy armor and hull. Okay, the Elite variant has a heavy model, a hyper velocity driver, and two harpoons. So this is the current setup that that you see in front of us. Um, I'll probably take off the resistant flux conduit. Hello, Ziandor. Holy shit, Ziandor, good sir. Welcome to the end. Did someone that say DACA? There is always room for more DACA, good sir. Doing fine, my man. I'm doing fine. I think this is the first time that you're coming to my channel. <laughs> How you doing, good sir? Alright, let's see. Anything interesting that I could replace here? Volkite, Heavy, Assault... Nah, I'm probably not going to be adding much, and this is a hard point, so... Either a missile, a guided missile system will work best, so, for example, the Harpoons. I'm actually going to be adding the Harpoons just for some extra missile fire from it. it we're, I'm mostly going to be using it as a escort ship, I'm not really going to be relying on it. Just long-range pressure while it's defending a carrier would be my idea. Uh, there we go. We're gonna be calling this the HPI gun show. There. Uh, vent. We can actually strip a little bit of vent from it and add capacitors up. Okay. And auto assign with linked harpoons just so it has that extra extra damage dealing capabilities. If I were to change anything, I would probably take off the heavy mauler and add an extra HVD. And maybe someday expanded missiles. We'll see. Hmm. Used to hang out here way long time back in the Mountain Blade Warband Vanilla and modded days. Prisno as well as POP. All that good jazz. I see. Well, thank you for revisiting, my man. We're still playing uh, Prophecy of Pandora on Monday and Tuesday if you if you want to feel nostalgic about it. We're actually at the king at... Uh, um, kingdom stage-ish, because we're helping out a claimant. We're helping a claimant take Ravenstern in the north. Uh, so it's a interesting challenge, and I don't really recommend it. It's it's more fun to make your own faction rather than um, help a claimant. Helping a claimant is slow and tedious. Okay, so this is going to be the ship. Let's go for... No, no, no. Let's, let's deal with the combat ships first. Um, do you also play Star Sector? Actually, no, you do play Star Sector. I saw you stream some Star Sector. Yeah. Okay, what's your poison in Star Sector, my man? What do you like to focus on, or do you have a favorite faction? Dedicated targeting core, that's better than nothing. Are there any ships that I might be interested in? For example, this is a good setup, but I would replace this dagger torpedo with a longbow. Hey, there actually is a longbow, but it's just too fucking expensive. Okay. Not gonna be getting that anytime soon, or at least not yet. Uh, Sypha, Warhogs. Uh, fighters are usually on the expensive side. There's Claws, there's Razor Fighters, which literally have mini light needlers on them. Uh, Fire Spitter. You did last year in January when you had some free time before starting the last semester in university. I see. Okay. Okay, good sir. Are you done with that? Are you just done with university now? Heavy Needler. Is there anything... Nah, I think the Heavy Needler is going to be just fine. Love what you saw, but now you're probably going to wait until 1.0 version before starting again. Um, so... Have you played uh, 0 0.95? That's the latest version. Phase Lance is cool. Nah. No, that, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, the broadswords will be used as escort fighters. This is an okay setup until we get extra money and we're going to be getting a longbow kinetic bomber on it. That's going to be cool. Okay, so the setup over here is fine. By the looks of it, I'll probably take those, that capa those capacitors off and put it into the vents just to help out a little bit more. 
Uh, front is covered by the PD laser, so that's cool. Graduated last year. I believe it was still on the 090-something version when you last played. Um, then I do recommend that you give it another shot, Xeander. It's worth a revisit. Plus, we have no idea when uh, the 1.0 version will come out. But current version, 0.95a, is very fun. Main attraction is the fact that they've introduced a story point system. So if you're doing... Uh, you know, special feats in the game, fighting something for the first time, or just following the story, you can use these story points to do extra stuff, for example. For example, you know what? I'd like to add hardened subsistence on this ship, but I don't want to use the ordnance points, so I can literally just build it in with a story point. So story-wise, we've heavily modified this ship to have some extra stuff. Uh, because of this built-in system, um, you can get some crazily overpowered builds. No. Uh, besides this, you can also use story points to get out of jail, as get out of jail free cards. You know, if a fleet is is ambushed you and you really don't want to fight them, you can actually use a story point to say that you've um, outsmarted your enemy and you walked away. Uh, you also use the story points to mentor and modify the personality of your officers, and you can also make certain certain skills elite variants of that skill with story points. And just as you progress through the game, you're going to be getting more and more story points. Even when you reach the level cap, you can still get story points as you go on. So that is pretty cool. And we're actually going to be making her personality steady. So that's going to be nice. Um, okay, finish that. And I'll go back to the ship. Uh, so things are looking okay here for now. All right, so uh, the Colossus big boy. Uh, usually what I like to do on these is add augmented dry field and expanded cargo holds. Uh, but we don't have augmented dry field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go militarize subsystems and expanded cargo holds. That's going to do... Uh, I also like getting efficiency overhaul on these, but that should be fine for what we need right now. Do we have some light machine guns? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to put some light machine guns on, even though they're not needed. Anything else that I might want to add? If you're curious, uh, Zeander, of the mods that I'm currently utilizing, uh, you can just go and type in exclamation point mod list, and you'll receive a link to a list with all of the mods that I'm currently rocking. A lot of lore-friendly mods and nothing too overpowered. I, I'd like to have my my build non-immersion. Non-immersion breaking. You go back into lurk mode? Alright, man. I will. I will. No worries. I'll focus on the gameplay. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. So, let's go back and blah go full capacitors for now and i'll be calling this the hpi big bertha there we go weapon group i don't need really need to add anything to the mix although i do like a conversation with the chat so ladies and gentlemen don't be afraid if you decide to lurk lurk away but if you want to have a conversation with me that is perfectly fine i like the communication also ooh, a mistake there no no, no, no. I th I thought it was uh, fl the other one, the flux coil ad adjunct. I miss. I they they kind of look the same, so I thought I added it by mistake. Okay, so the ships are ready and equipped, ready to go. Uh, probably gonna need augmented dry field on this thing, but we'll see. Uh, currently, its speed is an eight. Repair the ship, and we'll probably need more crewmen. Yep, I'll need. An extra, what's the suspicion level? Suspicion level is none, so I'm just going to grab some uh, crewmen from the black market, just so we don't pay extra taxes on them. Uh, let's go up to 325, just in case some, some of the crewmen die off. There we go, suspicion minimal. We are looking good, and we are ready to go and start buying some stuff okay let's check uh let's check repair ships take a shuttle let's see if there's anything interesting over here in the bar 
eye contact with a pather. We don't agree to their terms. We don't have the money and we don't really want to know the location of a pather base because we can't take on a pather base just yet. Um, buy a round or two for everyone. Yeah, that's fine. They don't reveal anything in particular. That's shitty. Uh, crisp, uh, crisply uniformed officer. What do you want? Um, require well but irregular force willing to perform a tactical bombardment on of Portia Naval Naval Dock. Ooh. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm capable of such feats. All right, let's check the market. So if we're over here in Sindria, they don't really share food by the looks of they don't really do they don't have a lot of exports but they do have information for us so i'm gonna go on the black market and we'll see where can we buy drugs for cheap uh best place best place to buy is the classica issue breast tritachy on station so we're going to be going there in high bristle and then from high bristle we'll probably go to the epiphany or to Orthus, we'll see what's the current situation once we get there. The idea is we are going to go buy drugs. Because that's quite profitable in the game. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Can I reach High Brazil? I can reach High Brazil, no problem. Let's go. Activating sustained drive. Uh, the Reparations Society have started attacking ships belonging to the Sindrian Nictat. Yeah. We'll have to check who's who are the ones who are going for that. Flying unidentified fleet scavengers. Whoa, Nelly. Let's not go through the cloud of death. What's that? Unidentified fleet. Da, da, da. No. Nah. Through here. Delivering food, organics, and volatiles. Pirate trade convoy. Well, that is interesting. Um. Yeah, let's take it on. We're going to move into engage. It's a high chance we're not going to survive this, but hey. No risk, no reward. Uh, we're going to be deploying all of these, and I'm going to be telling the brawler to escort the carrier. And let's stick together and try to do damage. In theory, the enemy... Yeah. Oh, shit, that's gone. Beautiful. Going to back away. Okay, let me turn around to that pest. That's literally the name of the ship. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out that thing. Is that a... Is that a Buffalo MK2? Yeah, that that thing doesn't have a shield. Also, since Aragnator introduced me to the shift button, it made aiming so much easier. Just beautifully easier. Gonna go help out my platform, gun platform over there. Oh, those mullers are doing good. Practically holding down the shift key will turn the ship towards where your mouse is. Oh boy. Gotta turn around. Shit. Light him up, light him up. Go for that, go for that, go for that. Turn around towards the shrike. I think that's a pirate variant shrike. Yeah, let's keep up the pressure. Beautiful. Those bombers from the carrier really took it out like it was nobody's business. That pest needs to go. But is it going on its own? Is it actually running away? It might be running away. Yeah, the enemy fleet is defeated. We can press escape at any time. I will be going on a full assault mode. But I don't think our brawler is going to be able to catch up to that pest. Class frigate. And it's just going to walk away. But now we have free access to pursue and attack their cargo ships. So that's going to be good. Speaking of, let's see. They got a Colossus, which is going to be easily... will easily catch up to it. I think the Dram is going to escape. 
But to be honest, if we get a Colossus and one of those buffaloes, I think we'll be fine. I'm not expecting us to catch the pest, so let's pursue them. We'll take them out of the action. I'm going to be bringing everybody. And we're going to activate full assault. Objective is to take out these four ships. That would be the idea. I'm not expecting to catch up to all of them, so that's good. It's going to be enough. Our salamanders are going to help out with catching up to these boys. I'm going to try to get in close there with my railgun so we can penetrate that shield a little bit better. There it is. Beautiful. Now we need to catch up. I'll, I'll tell the Heron to try to go for that Colossus. And you please go for that Buffalo. Actually, hell, go for, go for the Colossus as well. And that there. Need to catch up to that thing. Actually, let's see, Nav Boy, go grab that. I think that's gonna be better. It's gonna increase our speed and gonna decrease the enemies. The pest is just acting as a decoy and trying to provide as much interference as possible. I'm actually gonna hold fire so I maintain speed. I don't think they're brave enough to get close to me. So as long as soon as I get in range of that Colossus, I'm gonna be able to shoot out its motor. Okay. Getting a little bit close there, Bucko. Why did why didn't the salamanders hit the hit the um Okay. Activate shooty shooty. Come on. Hold fire so we can move closer and open fire. We must destroy its butt! Good buffalo is... So we don't have to defend that anymore. Uh, buffalo is going to go to the side. It'll most likely get destroyed. We're going to try to reach the other buffalo. Hold fire so we can get in closer. Once we're close with the rail guns, we're just going to light it up. Go for it. By the books. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time on the faster little pest. I mean, it has that name for a reason, and we won. Good. We now have taken all of their shit. Uh, do I want the Phoenix, the Shrike Light Attack Destroyer? I think it's the pirate variant, right? Um, small hybrid, medium, medium missile. No. No, I don't want it. Pick the wreckage. What do we got here? Organics, food volatiles and some weaponry hell yeah that was a good haul hello specter welcome back man i'm doing good i'm feeling fine it is very hot here and i'm playing some star sector with a lot of mods and i'm trying to explain everything as i go okay battle occurred we get a story point no level up? Interesting, no level up. Okay. That is going to go away. Uh, type an exclamation point mod list and you'll see, good sir. Oh, I forgot to name this ship. That's what happened. Okay, this is going to be the HPI... Um, Crusader because it has a lot of little fighters that fight for me on it. Okay, Lieutenant. And this is going to be Spectra. Spectra the clone. Level up. So what do we got here? Um, so currently she's had the helm. We, we need to choose how do we want to specialize our officers. Uh, usually I either specialize them in missiles so just a missile focused dude sniper 
so just long range skills or carrier which is kind of a combination with shield focus and fighter squadron stuff like that so yeah hmm? yeah spectra it's i guess a female name uh you can also name a ship spectra that has this kind of stealth like stuff to it it's a cool name why not Let's see, range specialization, ballistic energy weapons deal up to 30% more damage at long range, and it does have a light meter, so that could be useful. Truck analysis works very well in combination with, um, with a long range focused build, but it doesn't really affect pilots, uh, sorry, fighters, so that's a little bit annoying. 100% damage to fighters and 50% damage to missiles, both the piloted ship and the fighters from the piloted ship. So this is a good upgrade. Um, I'm going to try. Okay, no. So f first of all, she has energy weapon mastery. Deals up to 30% damage at close range based on the firing ship flux level. Mm, that's annoying a bit. Hmm? The extra CR, reliability engineering. Yeah, the extra CR is good. So, okay, because she has energy weapon mastery, I am not going to be going for a range build. So range specialization drops off. Impact mitigation, that's okay. Damage control, target analysis, point defense for... Okay, let's go reliability engineering. Yeah, really is right. This is actually useful on everyone. It kind of postpones the decision that I can make. And okay, yeah, we're going for we're going for a carrier focus. Let's go strike commander. And then hopefully the next one will be the point defense. Think I'm a jig. Ah, if only I knew, but I can't. I can't predict what I'm gonna be getting on the next level up, so that's fine. Okay, that's a nice level up. A lot of we got a lot of good stuff from this. We can now go to High Brazil and get high. Actually, speaking of, we can't really get high yet. Let's see. So these organics, we can sell them at the Chaos Hideout in the Acheron Domain. Ooh, that's a little bit too far away. Or at Anar in the Anar Star System at Lambens. That could work. Oh, and they want food as well. Okay, yeah, we're going into the Anar system. That's nice. Uh, so since we're going to the Anar system, which is all the way over there, we can actually go to High Brazil and uh, restock and get ourselves some of that good druggy kush. And that'll be fine. Okay, High Brazil. It, we need to reach Echo... Yochu Bress. We're going to try to jump at Elada and go dark as soon as we get in there. Let's see if we can stealth our way in. So Elada should be right there. Yeah. How do we stealth in? We go to the Elada gravity well. Order the jump, keep the transponder off, and go dark. There we go. We're going to hide over up in this little asteroid belt there we go our sensor profile is now just 71 by the point indicated over here so they need to be damn close to see us oh no he's gonna be getting damn close isn't he yep he's going literally in my face shoot dodged yeah that's how i work brother good and now ooh, did they see me Hold. Oh my god. That's not necessarily stressful. Get the fuck away. Go away. Okay, let's move closer. And go for it. Good, we managed to stealth in. Let's repair the ships and see what they got over here. Stabilized shield. Ooh, that's some good shit right there. But I just don't have the money right now to get it. Oh, There's some cool stuff being thrown at me. Uh, expanded missile racks. That's also good and needed. A lot of cool stuff that I need. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, out of curiosity, let's check what ships they have here. Prometheus big boy tanker. Hammerhead buffalo. Some shades. A wolf. 
Okay. A crane makeshift carrier. Venture Colossus Drover. So the crane makeshift carrier is literally a freighter ship that was converted into a fighter bay, uh, a carrier by the pirates. Uh, Drover Scarab by Pest. That was quite annoying. Torch. Okay, that's fine. Let's trade. Let's go into the black market and get ourselves as many units of... Yep. I, I clearly cannot buy all of this shit. But I can buy around 60, 64 units of drugs. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and these 64 units of drugs need to go to... Orthos or Epiphany. Mm, I'm gonna have a hard time acquiring. Okay, how much do you guys want for the for the goods that I just acquired here? Thirteen per unit. Ooh, that's not a that's not a good price for me. Twenty five is not that bad. No, we'll probably go to Lambens. Gonna try to stealth our way into Lambens, and then. We'll go sell those drugs. Uh, do I have enough to get to Lambens? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Hopefully we're not going to eat through a lot of supplies. It should hold. How many can I buy? That's literally it. Okay. So we're really squeezing that butt. Uh, but we'll sell some of the stuff. I uh, keep the salamander. Sell that. Uh, plasma bur burster... Uh, with just two shots, no. Light Mortar can go. Light Dual Auto Cannon can go. Vulcans can stay. Phase Blaster is literally the Heavy Blaster only. It is a small variant. Uh, Harpoon can go. Uh, Bongos, nice. Bongos for the Exodus Initiative. That's cool. We're going to be needing those. PD Laser can go. My, uh, uh, can stay. Mining Laser can go. Mortars can go as well. And any good location to sell metals... Not near me, so they can go here. That'll be fine. And let's go ahead and acquire some extra supplies. There. That should keep us going for a while. Let's check the... Well, there's no point in checking the Dockside Bar, because anything, any activity in the Dockside Bar will involve money from me, and I don't, I'm not really swimming in cash right now, am I? Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Gonna be ac actually gonna go inside here, activate that, and fucking go. They don't know that I've been here and that I took their shit. But hey, I don't think it's very, very hard to connect the dots. Mmm. -hmm. Any interesting stuff in the area? Let's see. Bounties. There's a system bounty in Yana. Did they have anything interesting in Yana? They got Pillager Point, a pirate orbital station. With quite a high population. We could go in there and cause problems, but the only thing that I... S the only problem that I see with this plan is we don't really have a very powerful fleet to take on a combat-focused pirate fleet. And... I don't think there's a lot of pirate activity in this system. Pretty sure that the major factions within that system are keeping the pirate in, pirates in check. I mean, there's four fucking planets slash stations that the pirates would need to deal with. Um, and I don't see them... I don't see them doing that. Okay, so let's go to Anar. Specifically... We want to go to Lambens. Deactivate the transponder out here. Go through here, dodge the storm clouds. That'll do. Hello. My Asuran detachment patrolling. Okay, let's reset course. Oh, no, 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 not dangerous. And 
Now through here should not damage me up. Good. Okay. Anar star system. Lambent's is right there. So this is Lambent's location. Let's try to get in there. This time we're going to be using the transverse jump directly near Lambent's. And as soon as we get near it, we will activate our dark mode so we don't alert the authorities. Okay, it's going in. Activating dark mode. Good. And they saw me. Yeah, they saw me. Uh, turn the transponder on and comply. No contraband found. Goodbye. Ah, sad. Sad, sad panda. Now the question is, do we just sell this on the open market so we get some extra brownie points with the Shadow Yard, or do we, do we try to split it and sell it on the black market as well? Also, since we're in the Shadow Yard location, let's see what type of tools and toys that they have. Let's sell our shit first, and then we'll we'll see. Okay, so local deficit of uh, 3,000, Jesus. Okay, uh, I'll sell 300. Good, and then I'll sell... 450 on the open market and we'll sell the rest on the black market oh yeah that's fine suspicion me a suspicion level is medium that's a-okay -okay in my book uh recreational drugs we made some cash we made 54k so that was loot that we've acquired from that pirate convoy we got super lucky there that we've met that pirate convoy on route to Hybrisol, and uh, we were able to take it out. That was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. We got super lucky, and that actually gave us a little bit of a head start. Now we can properly get into the drug, recreational drug business. So on that note, <clears throat> where do we want to go? I think I'm going to be returning to... YouTube rests. Oh, wait, I can actually buy drugs from here from your PDs. That's cool. But hey, we can actually check some of their weaponry now. Now that we have the money. Also, do they have any good stuff? Expanded deck crew mod spec and recovery shuttles. I'll be needing those too, actually. We need the accelerated mod shield as well, I think. Makeshift Jenny. And advanced storage gyros. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get those out of the way. Let's just get them. Yeah, it's going to cost me a little bit, but those are things that I'm going to be needing along the road. Wraith drones with crawler beams and mini flak. So they're PD focused ships. Interceptor drones. Okay. A apiary hive missile. Oh! We have unlimited ammo on it. Interesting. Black cap stuff. Okay. Fleet. Buy. Lambent fueler. A freighter ship. A high tide P. Pirate variant. Um, one medium ballistic, four small ballistics, and four pylon waves. The same thing. Destroyed fighter gantry. So no fighters. Skeleton crew is 200, but it is no... Oh, no, it's still a civilian grade ship. Ah, so that means I still need 400 blokes to man this big behemoth of a cruiser. Transport. I feel like it's it's kind of a transport ship combined with an LRM boat. Okay, what do we got here? A South Pop gun ship. Okay. Challenger, nothing really jumping at me. This game seems interesting, but it's confusing for me because I don't know what's about. Is this a sandbox or story? Um, sandbox with optional story. There is a main quest line. Think of it like Skyrim when it comes to its quest scene system. There's a main quest line that you can follow or just not give a fuck about and just play what and do whatever the hell you want. That's the gist of it. Uh, you are the captain of your own fleet. You control one ship while giving orders to the rest of the ships in your fleet. And you have to make a balancing act of 
um, a certain number of big ships supported by smaller ships or just go only small ships and have a few support ships like um, explorer ships, salvage rigs, and freighters that are non-combat ships to help you around. Uh, it's, it's a very, very interesting game. Right now, we're looking on, at the shipyard over at the Shadow, Shadow Yard faction. Uh, but I'm going to be going into the re-equip wall, or re-equip section of the game. And we're going to test out some toys, specifically fighter wings. The Shikome Elite Fighter. So this thing is incredibly powerful, but I don't have room for it on this ship. I would have to strip a lot of things off of it just so I can get a Shikome available. Hell, like, and I don't have, I no longer have any money to, to utilize the Shikome. But to give you an idea of what the Shikome does. Oh, fuck, no, don't deploy all. Holy shit. Deploy one. Give autopilot. So it's a, it's, a, so it's kind of a, like a frigate that if it gets destroyed, it just gets rebuilt. I don't think one Shikome can hold against a lasher on its own, but it should be okay. To give you an idea of what that thing does. Oh yeah, those are guided missiles. Get in there, brother. Look at that stupid thing go. Oh, that, that should be cray-cray. Now imagine three of these just harassing the fuck out of the enemy. Oh, it just got deactivated. Yeah, that's a cool ship. That's a cool ship. Okay. Undo. Alright, so this has five crewmen on it. Vulgar bombers. And that has a mining laser. Mining blaster. Okay. Let's replace the daggers with uh, vulgar bombers and see how they perform in comparison. Uh, vent it up. And let's see. I don't think I've seen the Vulgar Bombers in action. So each one of them would shoot a mining laser, I would assume. Let's see. Again, I'm you give the AI control of the ship, practically the autopilot, by pressing the U key, U for Utah. And let's see how those Vulgar Bombers are going. So what's going really happen happening here? Um, our ship, enemy ship, the uh, broadsword, Fighter squadron that's going to be going in and launching flares to to distract the point defense weapons on the enemy ship, so those point defense weapons don't focus on the bombers, and the bombers will fly in and just deliver their payload. In this case, it's not really a rocket. They're going to be launching a what I assume a mining blast, a mining blaster projectile. Let's see. There goes the flares. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, that was that was a hefty amount of a burst. They have to go back to the carrier ship to restock, resupply, to get their shit back. The hammerhead is being desperate. It's firing its uh, harpoons. Payload has been launched, and I think I think they're literally going back to the carrier ship so they can they can uh, get more juice. They just used all of the energy that they had on the ship to fire that one mining blaster, which is kind of cool. Okay, they're restocking. The targeting feed ab ability of the Heron class carrier is. If it activates a targeting feed and all of the fighters go red like that, and they're practically supercharged and they do extra damage. Holy fuck. Interesting, but I think the dagger torpedo bombers are better. I think one volley of the uh, of the dagger torpedo bombers could take out the enemy. I am currently a freelancer in the game. I am under nobody's contract. Um, and... 
you can join any of the factions, you can make your own faction. This is Mountain Blade in space, Embargo. So let's do the same setup, only this time the Heron's going to be utilizing its dagger torpedoes. Um, they're just going to be shooting one Atropos-class torpedo on the enemy. Let's see how they do. They're going in. Broadswords are there to distract, and one shot, one kill. The dagger torpedo bombers win. No casualties has been taken. All fighters have returned to the ship intact. Yep. Okay. It is true that the vulgar bombers are a cheaper option, a cheaper variant, but still, they did well. Okay, what else do we got here? Heckler Interceptors. They have two Vulcans on them. I guess I could use these instead of broadswords, but how about how about going full fighters? Let's see what this would do. I don't think they're gonna perform. Sounds nice, I think you'll give it a shot this weekend. You should, it's a very good game. Oh, no worries, Embargo. You can still stick around and ask away any questions. Just any questions that you desire, my man. Just want to see how efficient would this squadron be against a frigate. Okay, it's it's lighting it up. It's lighting it up. That's cool. They are having a hard time going through the shield, I think. Oh, no, they're, they're doing well. Okay, they, man they managed to go through it. I think if I add a anti-armor option in here, uh, the revolver support fighter can is just for defensive purposes, and it's a very cheap option. Wall Street Interceptor drone. Okay. All right, my man. I'm a very slow player, though. I really like to hang around the simulations and just test out builds for ships. Uh, light tactical laser, that is an energy weapon. I don't think it's going to be a very good option. No. Okay, so for now, I'm going to be keeping the original set of the dagger torpedoes and stuff. Let's see if they have any cool toys that I could get around to play with. Dual flak cannons, thumpers, nothing interesting. Okay, we're going to be getting out of here. Nothing interesting, just yelling at me. Saying, please take me, I'm yours. Uh, let's go, where do we buy drugs from? From Euripides. Let's go. Let's not get inside the sun. It's dangerous to go near the sun. So this is the world map, aka, you know, when you're not in combat. You know, speaking of mountain bl in mountain blade terms. We're going to be flying over to Prana Vayu Shipyard near Euripides. Let's see what we got in here. We're going to go to Colony Info. They are exporting a lot of things from here. I think you feel the Star Sector bug coming back to bite you after all. Do you know if you have to uninstall the previous game mods, then download and install the new versions? Sadly, yes, Zyandor. Uh The old mods are no longer compatible with the with the new Star Sector version. You would have to download everything from scratch. Uh, but you can just play the vanilla game a bit just to get back into the, into the hang of it and maybe try out some of the new stuff that they've added. You know, get refamiliarized with the new uh, the new uh, troop tree system. Because now you need to choose between two in each tier. From left to right, you have to choose between one of the stat, one of the skills that you want. Once you take the skill from the top tier, from here, you can go back and allocate extra points wherever you see fit. Pretty sure you get 1.0 on Steam ASAP, so you don't need to fuck with mods every time. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, Robson. It's it's kind of a nostalgia feel when I have to manually add mods to the game. I don't know. It reminds me of. World of Warcraft mods back in the days on pirate servers and shit. Playing unofficial now, but still. Back in the days. Okay. Let's go. Trade goods. 
Let's see if they have anything interesting in here. Oh, they have the light CEPC. This is a energy variant machine gun. Pretty sexy. Hey, Marcus. Welcome back to the anime. How are you? Stabilized shields, extended shields. Uh, could be useful. They have some Nereads. Need to play around with the Nereads a bit. Need to, need to check their niche. Uh, and they have drugs of the ass, which is perfect for us. We want drugs of the ass. Well, not our ass, our pulled, and then sell it in another location. On the black market, they... Yes! They have the mining pike. The glorious mining pike. All praise the mining pike. Oh, fuck yeah. I am getting that. I am getting those babies now. I fucking love the mining pike. Hey, they got longbows here. Okay. Let's see. Hey, and some of their bigger variant ships from the Shadow Yard. A Potnia troop transport. It's not even that expensive. That'd be cool. So the old mods have to go. That much is clear. What about the game itself? Do you download it again from the website? Or does the launcher update itself? You have to download it from the website again. Uh, the latest release is over there on their release page. So you just delete the old game and add the new one. You can do that because uh, the old saves are not compatible with the new one. So, yeah. And plus, I think they've updated the uh, mod section, you know, the mod index on the forum, Xeandor, so you might want to check out over there. No worries, Xeandor. I hope you, I hope, I wish you the best of fun, my man. This is one of those games that just sucks you in and never lets go. Clade Destroyer. Harmonic Shield Conduit. That's a cool, they look cool, and they do have this kind of squid-like aquatic stuff going on for them. Hello, an ear liner. As much a political statement as a passenger ship, the ear class is one of the largest starliners in the history of space travel. This is a giant. This is a giant transport ship, isn't it? Oh yeah, it can have a maximum of six thousand crew on it. Holy fuck! So in case you want to colonize several stars and make colonies in quick succession, this would be the big boy for you. Um, a Griffin Stalker class cruiser. This is a pirate modification of an Apogee. Yeah, it's based on the Apogee and has been heavily modified by pirates. A lot of things have been changed on it. A Lobotus heavy destroyer. Oh, there's some cool shit here. Okay, uh, refit. What do we got up in this? Longbow kinetic bomber. Okay, let me test that setup out a bit. Because I did mention at the beginning of the playthrough that I want... I want a longbow. Longbows shoot sabos. They shoot anti-shield missiles that hopefully will hit the enemy before the dagger is hit with their atropos, which are just a high explosive. Ah, yeah, it's going in. Shields are... down and... Hmm. Interesting. The Atropos missiles actually had a higher burst damage. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'm not gonna buy the longbow. I'm just gonna keep uh keep the daggers. Yeah, it needed two runs. It needed two strafing runs for it. What else do we got up in here? A pinnace close support has a light ion beam and two graviton bolters. Show me. Oh, I don't have enough money for it. I see. Okay, fine, broadswords. Just as a, just as a support near those pinnacle things. Show me. What do you got? Oh, they're quite big, and they look pretty. That's almost frigate size. Is it, is it as big as a lasher? Oh, shit. So how big is the battle can be? How many can, ships can be involved? Oh, this... Hortak, it can get so crazy. Okay, actually... Deploy all... Here they come. Yep, 
This is just some Diablo avionics shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, the big boys are here. Let's see how long this Heron can last. I don't think so. This is a simulation, so we can just bring in as many ships as we want. So as you can see, Hortac, things can get pretty insane. Ah, oh, what the fuck are those? By the way, this is a Diablo Avionics fleet. Th these are the Diablo Avionics faction. And it sounds cool. With some mods, the ship's count could get even crazier. Oh yeah, indeed. Indeed it can. Uh, Lucas Self, thank you for raiding me with three three viewers, man. Really appreciate it. And rockets are going in. And it's gone. Oh yeah, things can get quite insane. Uh, those pinnacles are interesting, but they're a little bit on the expensive side. But uh, I was curious to see them. Our Razor Fighters, these have anti-shield capabilities. Let's combine them with a anti-armor variant. With a dagger, sure. Let's see what can they bring to the table and how do they look. Uh, this time we're gonna go against a hammerhead. Let's look. Can these razors actually do a lot of damage to shields? I'm curious. They're going for it. It's not bad. Oh, then they're not really doing that bad of damage, as long as they hit on a location where the armor has already been stripped. Keeping a lot of pressure on the enemy by the looks of it. And boom. One more to finish the job. Mm, okay. Let's see how these things do against a carrier ship. So practically what we're going to be bringing to the table will be probably a Heron. Let's see... So as you can see, there are a lot of ships in the game. Um, Of course, this is a list where we've added a lot of modded ships to the mix. But as you play and practice, you'll just learn learn and have an idea of what each ship's role is and how you can use it. But of course, if you're going to be flying one of those ships, you can really learn it and squeeze out everything that it could bring to the table. Um, okay, let's bring two of those. Oh, shit, that's close. That's close. I just wanted to see how those uh, fighters do against other fighters. Okay, the hammer has destroyed, so now they can focus on these boys. We're also checking out the PD capabilities. Okay. Mm. Not really handling themselves. I mean, they're not dying. Which is cool. But, as I saw there, I think the Heron did most of the heavy lifting. Yeah, they're not really aiming properly. I think I think these are just better at uh, dealing with uh, with bigger ships. They're not really interceptors, I'd say. No, it's still cool. Okay, uh, the Nereid interceptor, uh, designed to be launched from planetary bases. Rare air space fighter designed amongst the more commonly space-based fighter craft encounters in the sector. Okay. Show me what you got. Against a hammerhead for now. They look cool. I'll give them that. They have a shield on the front. They have rockets. Holy crap! Oh my god, that dude just got lit up. What the fuck just happened? Oh baby, what the hell? Okay. Give me two carriers. Let's test the limit of these boys. How do they do against fighters? Oh yeah, he got super wrecked. 
A few fighters got through. Uh, yeah, it seems they're more focused on dealing with enemies. Need to get on the trying this game. Spent a lot of time watching people play it. Go for it, my man. It's a very enjoyable game. Um, it is a little bit complicated, and it takes time for you to learn the ship designs and the weapons and how to specialize them, but practice makes perfect. Stay in the simulator and just enjoy the magic. That was a couple of seconds. Yeah, they just, just dominated that hammerhead. Another cool tactic that you can utilize is you can just go, you can find one of these types of uh, jack-of-all-trades ships that are good against both fighters and bigger targets and just spam them. You know, go, go full Protoss carrier fleet from StarCraft. That's a thing. Oh my god. If if only the Solomonconian would uh, would update their mod so they can, so they can bring darts to the table. Oh, the darts, man. The darts are love, the darts are life. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, it's getting stripped. Yeah, Protoss Carrier Fleet is definitely amazing to watch. And you can do that. You can pull it off with certain fighters in this game. Currently in vanilla, if you want to try that, I recommend that you just find as many sparks as you can. You can find sparks out there. You'll, 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 if you start exploring the outer systems, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, let's see what else do we got up in this. Uh, Wraith drone fighters, if I remember correctly, are quite lacking. They also cost squat to deploy. And I think they're, they are uh, fighterless, sorry, pilotless fighters. Let's see how they do against a Lasher. I'm not expecting them to do anything, to be honest. Usually, the cheaper they are, you'll understand that their performance will be shittier as well. Yeah, it's, it's a point defense drone, and it's not going to do shit against Lasher. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll show you. Undo. So we don't... We don't do any modifications. Okay. Tab. This is the star system. We are currently in the Anar star system. And this star system is just one of... That many... This is the map. And currently, on the fleet, we have enough fuel to reach all the way over here. That's all. This means that you can go all the way... The inner circle means that you can get all the way over here and have enough fuel to return to your initial position. The map is huge. Think of each one of these dots is its own star system with its own planets and its own shit that you gotta explore and deal with and fight and mine and yeah indeed remember having to tweak some settings in a file called the Imparis? is that still needed uh for extra ram usage Xandor, they fixed that uh now star sector uses uh ram properly no need to modify anymore if you're talking about that No worries, my dude. No worries. Okay, any other interesting bombers that I'd like to try out? Oh, I wish I would have a enough money for a few Shikomes. That'd be cool. Although it really hurts when they die. <laughs> when they go down, you'll feel it. Anything interesting over here? Oh, yes, the mining pikes. Oh, God, I love this gun. I'll show it to you. It actually benefits from expanded magazines, but... I'm not really going to be using it right now with expanded mags because I don't have the blueprint. Um, and we will bring that up. Auto. Nope, nope. Don't alternate. There, there. And run sim. So let me show you the beauty of this gun. 
This gun sounds like this, first of all. Yeah. And that little pellet thing is actually a detonator charge. If we... It, it's not going to affect ships. It's not going to do shit against, uh, against shields. But if we manage to hit their hull with this, like now, look at what happens to it. Did you see that small explosions? The small explosions were literally caused by the by the mining detonator charges that we just launched on its hull. It latches on and it has a delayed explosion. I have no idea why, but this weapon is so fucking satisfying. Also, interestingly enough, if you manage to hit a detonator, a mining charge on another mining charge, the first mining charge explodes. Oh, I missed. I missed the fuck out of it. Okay, we'll let the game. We'll let the game shoot because we have gunnery implants, and it's gonna shoot better than us. We have the little monkey brain. The computer is gonna be able to shoot it b better than us by quite a bit. Where the fuck is he? Where the hell did he go? I'm still good. Okay. I still had coffee. But water. But water. Water. But water. Okay, I'm gonna be drinking some water. But she's right. Okay, where the hell did he? Oh, okay. Hi. How the hell did you get there? Actually, the AI will know. Yeah, yeah, it's it's tracking it. There it is. Yeah, it's not really doing so hot. Mining pikes and salamanders turned on. Select salam select mining pike. Deselect it so we know its range. And aiming. And it's offline. Come on, mining pike. Come on, mining pike. Mm. So they do a lot of damage, but kind of small range. Um, they do delayed damage. And, but just in general, they're satisfying to use. I am aware that a Mauler or an HVD or something else would be much more useful here. But I don't know, man. It's a satisfying gun. Okay, and look at those booms. Hey, Kiwi. Welcome back to the end. Oh, yeah, I'm keeping these. I'm keeping these because they're just a personal favorite. I love those guns. Those mining pikes are... Mm, they're loving life, man. They're loving life. Okay, so we got the bongos. Actually, no, not going to put the bongos on just yet. What else do we got over here? We got assault chain guns, a short range burst of damage, incendiary blasters, a new weapon that was added to the game. Well, added from the mods. Nah, this one's ready to go, modified and ready to fuck shit up. Anything that I could add over on you? No. I could make it into a PD platform, but nah. Nah, not no not needed because the Heron is already having enough enough point defense cap PD point defense, um, anti missile anti fighter capabilities. Um, just to clarify in case anybody was wondering. So when I say uh, PD capabilities of a ship, that's literally the, the the capability of a ship to defend itself against other fighters and missiles. So the Heron already has quite good uh, PD capabilities. So there's no point in making the Brawler into a PD platform. Sometimes there are bigger ships that require ex their, their, you know, their weakness is a lack of point defense weapons. So that's why you either employ a fighter squadron that specializes in point defense weapons or make other smaller frigates and specialize them into PDs and then you give them escort commands for that one ship to keep it safe. Um, that's how usually it works. So, yep. This is a good setup. I really like this ship. Now, uh, there's some extra stuff that I can improve here, but that's that's only once I get uh, not special mod. No, yeah, special modifications. Well, oh boy, here I go killing again. Okay, Zandor, have fun with it, man. Nope, no, anything interesting. All right, we're here for the drugs. 
We are here for the druggies. Eh, cost us a little bit of money to buy those uh, mining pikes, but I don't care. I don't care. Mining pike is love. Mining pike is life. Fair warning. Mining pikes are not super awesomely, holy shit, overpowered efficient. Uh, there was a point where the enemy AI ignored the uh, mining pike projectiles. It wouldn't activate their shields. Uh, because the it, the small projectile the so little damage that uh, the AI thought that it was just a not worth turning the shields on for. So you could just plant charges after charges after charges on the on the enemy enemy uh, ships, and they would just blow up. It was it was incredibly overpowered. But they fixed that, and they made mining pikes actually a little bit more balanced, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with. It's, it's an excellent weapon. I love it. Uh, there was something that I could try out. Instead of the railgun, I could add... Uh, the... Nah, nah, Light Sea EPC would work well if we would go... Do I have enough, enough to go for a... Let me see. Do they have an assault chain gun? They do have an assault chain gun. Okay. Let's test this shit out. Why not? Light Sea EPC... And then light C E P C's on the butt. The bot C E P C brothers. Take off the flux distributor. Take off the integrated targeting unit. Add safety overrides. Uh, plus hardened subsystems. Vents up the ass, and that is horrible. Take off the salamanders. Add more vents. That's a little bit better. Okay, linked auto fire. So what I did was I literally turned the HPI Zodiac from a long range, sorry, not long range, no, 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 a mid range fighter to a close quarters combat brawler. Let's see how it does. Safety overrides increases our speed and venting capability, passive venting capabilities, but it decreases our active venting capabilities. Ah, you piece of shit. Quite fast for your size, huh? Okay. Oh, right, I have- that's- that's what's going on. I have the assault chain gun selected. I shouldn't have the assault chain gun selected. Uh, but the light CEPC has already managed to almost flux it out. Okay, you definitely have a salt chain gun on auto fire. Why are you not shooting it? Oh, because you actually can't aim it properly. All right, while that one's running away, let's bring out another hammerhead and compare performances. Hello, big boy. Nah. Overloaded. Okay, so it seems I cannot utilize the light EPCs as uh, as the machine guns to penetrate shields. So, how would that build actually work? You add normal light machine guns on it instead of uh, the light EPCs. I just wanted to see if they can fill up the same role. Assault chain guns it up on the front. If you feel like your uh, shield shield smashing capabilities is not high enough, just replace an assault chain gun with a heavy machine gun that you would get lucky to find somewhere. Uh, take these off, add a safety overrides with a hardened subsystems, preferably. There we go. And vent it up the ass. A little bit of capacitors. Auto the weaponry. Keep the assault chain guns on firing mode, and let's test that shit out again. Again, against a normal hammerhead for now. Unselect the assault chain gun so it shoots on its own. And let us see. How does it do again? Now, activating shields. As soon as we get in range, we are going to activate the DACA. Oh yeah, it's doing much better now. Walk away. Wait for the Vlux to go away. Going back in. So as you can see, depending on the shit that you find, you have a lot of flexibility in terms of builds. And it's gone. 
one of the drawbacks with this build is it's a close quarters combat build where you it's going to be very easy for the enemy to surround you so positioning is key also uh because of safety overrides on the ship we will not be able to maintain uh will will not be be able to go for long prolonged fights our sh our um systems on the ship will degrade faster even though we did add a hardened subsystems on it but i like this build i like this but i love this build so that's gonna be the one we're gonna be rolling with but i just wanted to show you also you can make this into a small little destroyer like that let's see let's see if you can actually do it i'm curious uh give me light machine gun deactivate integrated is can this be done does it have enough space safety overrides into sardin substances oh shit oh shit you can actually pull it off uh but the flux is not that high when a ship is destroyed and other ships are near it do they take damage as well uh yes if they don't have their shields activated the explosion from a ship will damage it embargo so you either need to clear the fuck out or have your shields activated hell some explosions are so powerful they will just overload your shields as well don't stay near a capital ship when it goes boom let's just say that okay can the brawler pull it off okay We'll let it to do its own thing. Activating autopilot on it. Let's see if we can take out a lasher. Even though I think the brawler is much better maintaining its distance. Okay, flux dissipation is actually okay. It's decent. Mm. It won't... Sadly, I don't recommend this build. Uh, it will, it will, he, he will not be able to get close to anything bigger than the frigate. So no staying power, I say. Okay, undo. We'll just keep it as a long range support platform for now. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, check the the druggy drugs of druggery. We are on the open market, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, suspicion levels are high. We are going to be grabbing, because we bought the mining pikes off the black market. So we're going to be grabbing some recreational drugs. So we don't get in trouble with the authorities. Also, it seems the drugs are legal over here in the Shadow Yard, which is nice. So where do we sell these? We will be selling these in a Sharu in the core of a star system. Do I have enough fuel to get there? Fuck no. Okay, and I no longer have any money. Yep. Anything closer? Orthus. There's Epiphany and Aljabar. I don't think I have. If I go to the south over there, it'll... Pro oh, wait. Do we, do we have any pirates over here? Maybe I can harass some pirates. Maybe steal some fuel? No. No, by the looks of it, no. Uh, let's sell the volatiles here. That's fine, and that's going to give us enough money to buy some fuel. I'm going to buy some fuel from the black market. There we go. That should keep us going. And now we have enough to reach Corvus. Perfect. Let's go to Asharu. The Shadow Yard shouldn't give a shit about us right now. I think our suspicion level is low enough. Also, we're a little bit low on, supp on supplies, but we are consuming 1.4 supplies per day. So as long as... Oh my god, no! Unidentified fleet. Pursuing Cabal Spooks. Oh, we cannot take on that, that fleet. I have no idea who they are, but we are running away. Oh boy. Try attacking on corporate traders. Sadly, we want to be friends with them because they can supply us with some powerful energy weapons. I'm going to be going through the south. Oh, shit. What's that? Pursuing my fleet. Fuck no. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no. The Cabal. Okay. What do you want? Surrender 120 units of recreational drugs. Okay, let's fast talk the Cabal Heist here. I'm going to be using a story point to get the fuck out of here. 
Yes, I know. Thinking quickly, you launched into a rant about a sort of New Age nonsense that appeals to these caballeros. You make most of it up on the spot, but the caballero begins to smile and nod, tacitly agreeing with your philosophical arguments. By the time you run out of inspiration, the high seer is fully enraptured by your rambling. Wise words, truly. You have given me much to think upon. The cabal high seer ends the connection, so we can leave now. Ah, oh, that was a close fucking call. Hello, Chris. Uh, there are murdering pancakes in my eye sockets and screaming for forgiveness as I apply apple jam on them. Bon appetit. So are you so afraid of these Cabal guys? Um, I wasn't, I'm not necessarily afraid of the Cabal guys. I'm afraid of their, that particular fleet. I can't kill them. I, okay, Arignator, fuck off. I had sustained burn on. I didn't see them in the general area. They came out of nowhere, and by the time I managed to identify the fleet, they were too close. Okay. Okay. Turn on, tra turn off transponder. Let's go. I know, I've deactivated Chris, thank you. Gotta be a little bit careful. Go through Syndria. Hello, what's that? A derelict kite ship. Let's go touch it. You can salvage operations. Absolutely nothing. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Hello, win now, lose later. Welcome back to the end, dude. Happy to see you playing this again. Yeah, it's a good game. It's a good, sexy game. I love it. Let's try to dodge the, the storm. Okay, I'm not dodging the storm. Try to go through here. Oh god. And now slowly gonna walk through there. Would have, would have cost me a lot of fuel to just go around it, so that's fine. And we're here. Let's try to infiltrate a Sharu. Uh that is ooh, that's very close to Jingala, god damn it. Got the jump point. Okay, let's go near Barad. And it's going to be a little bit uh, pirate infested, but we should be okay. What do we got up in here? Got a sidecar. If you happen to have a mod list, uh, yes, type an exclamation point mod list and you'll receive a link to a list. Freshly made. Good, taking that. Running from Cyanation Trade Fleet. Those are pirates, but there's nothing really I can do. Let's go into Barad, and we're going to deactivate everything. Or the jump point, keep transponder off, go dark. No worries, man, no worries. Ooh, boy. I assume that's a pirate fleet. I'm going to go to Garnier. Um, best place to sell, sell a Sharu, good. And that's fine, but still, since I'm near here, you know what? This is risky. No, we should, we should be fine. How much for the drugs? Nah, not a good price for the drugs here. On the black market, sell that. I ah, sold the piranha. Don't need those piranha bombers. We got some heavy machine guns here. Fountain twin swarmer. Nothing really jumping at me, yelling, please take me on yours. How much for the drugs? 193. Still a st oh, well, I How the hell did I get that money? No, seriously, where the hell did I get that money from? I'm confused. Okay, no worries. That's still fine. Let's go to Asharu and hope we can infiltrate the fuck out of it. Deactivating going dark. Um, yeah, he'll want to attack me, but I think I'm fast enough. We just need to keep an eye out for orange signals. I th think we're in the clear. I think I can get into a Sharu without... Oh, boy. Yeah, you saw that. You saw that. Almost got seen by that hegemony patrol. 
Yeah, you boys, you boys explore whatever the fuck you want. Just stay the hell away from me. I think the privateers won't give a shit about us having our transponder off. Yep, they don't. Good, trade goods, black market, all of the drugs, and get paid 100k. Woo! Nice. Ah, fuck, we can actually bring more. Their deficiency, they still need 575 more units, I just didn't have the money to buy those units. Okay, uh, do they have anything interesting up in this? Ooh, the plasma driver, love those guns. Love those guns so much. Let's see. Scala, Lasher, Monitor. Black Market. Falcon P, no, no thank you. Bronco Missile Destroyer. Mm -hmm. Hello, Lord Napoleon. Doing fine, man. Doing fine. Just enjoying. There's a combat log mount out there where you can see in detail what ships damaged, killed, who, and what weapons did most damage. Helped you a shit ton optimizing your fleet. I see. Um, Can you... Do you happen to know the name of this mod? Hey, Drunken Slav. Welcome back to the end, dude. Haven't seen you in a long time. How have you been, man? How are you? Okay, no need to rush. Let's not just eat through all of our money right off the bat. Let's see if there's anything anything interesting that we can check out. You've been good? That's nice to hear, man. It's nice to hear. Detailed combat results. Thank you. I'll check it out. What's this game about? First time you see it? Um, I, I say this a lot. Um, Mountain Blade in Space. Yeah, it's Blue Organs. It's cloned organs. Instead of harvested organs. Replacement organs cloned in a biomedical facility highly prized. These particular specimens are made to be implanted in any patient. While not illegal, these are often dangerous or at least legally confounding to transport. Best place to sell it to Bessina by the looks of it. Interesting. Up, so right now we're in the market screen of this planet. We will actually check and see. Actually, we should fill up on fuel and supplies. Yeah, that's going to be good. We're going to buy all of those and all of that fuel. Even the fuel from the open market. There we go. Sex with animals. I'm sorry, Marcus. I am not following. Was the black thing the batteries? Uh, yeah, high capacity, high capacitance storage. Large battery systems capable of holding a sizable charge that can be delivered on demand. Probably kept on hand to provide emergency power supply. They're also useful in a wide variety of industrial applications, particularly those involving volatiles. So practically some new, some new trade goods that were added by mods. So you have to recruit peasant aliens and train them to become elite alien rangers to conquer a planet. Um, instead of controlling soldiers, Lord Napoleon, you're controlling ships. It's it's a fleet-based game. So think of we're buying ships that are cr that have crews, and then we utilize those ships to fuck shit up. That would be the idea. Right. So we will get the fuck out of here. We're gonna evacuate. Let's see where can we get some more drugs from. So we're going to mouse over it. We're going to press F1 for more information. And according to the market, we need to go to either Udana Station, Shadow Yard, and the Yima Star System. We need to go to Eco Breast in, uh, uh, in Hybrisol, which is one of my favorite locations. We can also go to the Jigas Star System at Stillness. Uh, the best price would be at Echo Breast, so we're going to go there. Uh, shadowy lands? Uh, Shadow Yards. Shadow Yards faction. A lot of, um, aquatic-like ships with a focus on energy weapons. Drunken Slav. That would be them. And they have a tendency of, uh, picking on, uh, wars with Asconia. Well, mainly because they actually have Outpost Tiger in the Asconian star system. So they're, that that's a war zone in Asconia. Let's go to Hybrizel. At YouTube Press. Just need to get out. Oh my good god. Oh shit, what's going on? Unidentified shit. 
Yeah, we, we still, we're still hidden and we're still hidden. They still can't see us. Gotta get the fuck out of here before we're, we're detected. Okay, fuck it. We're making a run for it. Hmm? Is this game really for the new or old like Warband? Uh, it has 11 years. Wait, it was launched, I think, in 2013 or 2011. It's been in development for a very long time. It's 0 0.95. It's on the brink of being released. Oh boy, what's that? Unidentified fleet raiding around the core of a star system. If it's raiding around the core of a star system, that is a pirate fleet. Oh shit, no, it's Ludic Path. Got it. Okay, um, so these Ludic boys... For lack of a better term, they're space jihadists. Old game is still updated? Oh, definitely. Um, I don't think I... I don't think I can catch up to them. I don't think I have a ship fast enough to catch up to them. No. I might be able to catch up to the... Wait. Nah, leave them. I won't. Let's not. Let's not waste supplies and resources to try to get those guys. There's, there's a, they're a small fry. Um, is that a fleet? Oh, it's a battle taking place. Let's go see. Holy fuck, what's going on here? Oh god. It's a big fight. It's a smuggler against a pirate trade convoy. We will actually... Activate our transponder and get in on the action so we can help out the smuggler. Yep. Join the battle on the smuggler side. We will attack the pirate trade convoy and we will fuck them up. Hey, sub. Buna ziwa shitsie. Which means good morning to you too. How you doing, man? So there's this religious faction called the Ludic Church who considers technology to be Satan. They're quite peaceful in their protests against technology. The Ludic Path is the ex the extremist faction that's on a war against everyone. Their protests are a little bit more dangerous. Yeah, they literally steal and utilize civilian ships and they just weaponize the fuck out of them and they'll usually just launch a gas tanker a fuel tanker on a suicidal ramming maneuver to fuck you up yeah they're fun like that okay let's get up in here bringing all the boys to the field ready to fuck shit up let's go everybody is free to utilize as they see fit Ah, man. I like the fact that we have mining laser, mining pikes. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. A lot of church still have their own military. That is true. But they just... are more diplomatic in the way they hate technology. Oh, hello, big boy. The fuck is that? Okay, let's try to maintain our distance until I can figure out what the hell that is. That seems to be a pirate variant of a shadow, shadow yard ship. Oh, never mind. It just went boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got it. Nice. Ah, mining pikes go. Ba 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 ba. Okay, spades down. What else do we got over here? However, you found that Ludic Path is still the best customer to sell heavy armaments to, made massive amounts of cash supporting Jihad. Oh, hell yeah. Of course. I mean, as long as it pays, why not supply some weapons to terrorists, right? You can always just dick them later. Yeah, it's this game is very... I, I don't think I would go to call it that. It's, it's a grim dark game. But there's not a lot of good guys. You can't really say that, okay, this faction, these are the good guys. Nah, nah, everybody's a little bit of rotten up in this game. And the game kind of promotes the idea that you're going to be doing quest morally, morally questionable shit. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you wish politics and diplomacy would play a bigger role in there? Um, yes. With the next Erlen. With the next Erlen mod, I feel like uh, there's enough uh, diplomacy to go around. That's doing well. We helped. I think the battle's over. Most likely this uh, smuggler fleet could have handled it. Oh, by the way, that is a cruiser-sized wolf. Ah, I want that. Oh, I want that baby boy. Cruiser sized wolf, man. Ah, ah, the things I could do with it. Oh, hello. It seems they, they're they sending in their civilian ships now. Oh, no, they're running away. Oh, fuck. Uh, full assault mode. Ordering everyone to fuck shit up. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that's a big boy. That's a big boy that's wearing the big boy pants. Uh, cruiser size Tempest, you mean the Fury? Oh, yep, yeah, that has a phase skimmer ability that can teleport. They're actually, there's actually a type of ship, high energy ships, that have phasing technology on their board. Hmm, the Tempest, the Tempest? Yeah, but I feel like the Fury class ship kind of fulfills the role of a Tempest ish. Tritachian would sell you for pennies. Hegemony is a dictatorship with fake democracy. Persian League is corrupt. Sindri is a brutal dictatorship with a cult of personality. Only faction that's ill full of shit is bandits. That's because they're bandits. Yeah, the bandits just want to, you yeah, know, take your money. At least they're honest with their, with their intentions. Take them out of the action. We will try to run these boys down. And... <sighs> I think like that would be okay. And they're the, the the independents. They're like puppies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're literally the the small little fluffy sheep in the wolf's den. Mm hmm. Usually you would just rely on the independents to get some good shit on, but it's kind of it. It's kind of it. That Colossus is going to go down. You see those small little energy energy cannons that they're shooting? Those are the plasma drivers that I love. That was a little flare that that buffalo launched. We're going to hold fire until we get close. And now we're going to dock it up. To get a side of the spoils. What else do we got up in here? We can catch up... Actually, we can catch those three ships. We're actually getting more than I thought. I'm going to be activating shields here just so we don't get bonked by those... Uh, craters holding fire, so we make sure that we're going to be accelerating as much as we can. That Colossus is going to go down soon. If I could get a shot in, that'd be great. Just to help out, so it receives some extra experience. Because you do receive experience based on, and loot, based on the amount that you've contributed in the fight. And that's a goners. Good. I'm gonna hold. Don't think there's a point in chasing anybody else. This battle is over. Let's see. Uh, you made the experience scavenger fleet randomly turn on you when they feel like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Scavenger. Fl if you meet a scavenger fleet out there where nobody knows who they are, they will sometimes turn pirate and they will try to scavenge your fleet. They don't know. Nobody knows who, who they are and where they are. So they'll turn pirate. They will eat you up. They're not a government, they're practically like, hey, I have my own planet, I don't want to get invaded, but I want some sort of space power, let's just unite with this other planet and agree that if someone invades us, we help each other. Yeah, that's the in independent faction, they just help each other. There's this, they're this weird alliance where they have a few planets here and there, and they mostly rely on laying low and trading and smuggling to get by, and they don't draw any attention to the bigger political powers. Hey, D Skater. Welcome back to the end, man. Yeah, I just enjoyed some Star Sector. Consider ship recovery. We got a Wayfarer, a Colossus. That's oh, difficult. No, I'm not going to use a, a story point on that. Pick through the wreckage. Hey, we got resistant flux conduits and some metals. That's cool. 
That's enough. Not really much, but it's enough for what it is. It, it kind of saves me around 10k. We helped uh, that little... I'm not sure what the name of that ship is. I think it's a skimmer or something like that. Small, little fast ship. Hard to catch. Uh, containment procedures, no. Uh, give me less... Oh, wait, sorry. I'm going for reliability engineering for more peak operating time. There we go. Let's fly, you fools. And we're going back to High Brazil. Persian League. Oh, wait. Deactivate Transponder. We don't need to have it. Bounty Hunters walking through. High Brazil through the, through the storm clouds. Yeah, sure. Hopefully we won't get clipped by any of these the nasty storm clouds. Good. We actually managed to get through. Nice, nice. Okay, hi Brazil. Where is Ecobras? Ecobras is to the southwest of, of the star near Elada. Okay, let's jump in there and turn our transponder off. We're going to go dark and we're going to try to infiltrate Ecobras so we can buy drugs on the hush hush side. Oh, fuck, I think they saw me. Oh, fuck, I think they saw me. Yep, we're going. We're running away. They don't know who I am yet. And I think one of their fleets just turned Cabal. Yep. Ah, shit, they turned Cabal. If they catch me, they'll demand weird shit from me or destroy me right off the bat. We gotta escape now. We need to get the fuck out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. In theory, we should be faster than them. Hmm? Buying drugs? Um, no, but I am going to be selling some illegal recreational drugs because you could make a lot of money off of it. Good, we've escaped, and we're going to go into that dust cloud and go dark. I'm going to go slowly back through. Man, that's going to be a tough cookie to go through. They were men weird fetish favors. Yeah, they do. They do mend weird shit. You RP in game that you buy non-addictive drugs to make yourself feel good? Okay. Turn to Cabal. So a Cabal fleet is a... So, let me just actually explain a bit. There's this faction called the Cabal. These dudes are high-tech, bling-wearing pirates. They force people into donating for their organization. They have very pimping, highly energetic powered ships, and they're practically hiding among Tritachion. They act as Tritachion, but exactly like, like scavengers, they just turn on a heartbeat. If they see that you're easy prey, they will turn their Cabal transponders on, and they will try to force you to donate. That would be the idea. Okay, let's go back. Lenga course we go, Bruss. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the Maya Sura fleet. It was genocided, but uh, they're back in action. It was the Cabal eight guns from you, so you thought, oh well, you're loaded with inventory full anyway. You gave them the guns, but you need to notice if you don't have enough guns in your inventory, they literally rip the guns off of your ships. Yep, they do. Okay, we're gonna slowly. Actually, I should get into the into the asteroid ring of Elada. That's gonna cover our approach, and then we just wait. Oh fuck! Hello, Tritachion corporate trader. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, we're gonna quick save. Even though I have no idea why I'm doing this because I'm not skate scumming, but hey. So if we get caught, we get caught. Get in there, get in there. Oh, fuck. Hold orbit. Hold. Oh, shit, they saw me. And I think I'm dead. They saw me. Ah, okay. They want 86 units of supplies. Can I punch a... I don't think I can punch a hole through them. Oh, there's some dangerous shit in here. I think I'm gonna give the supplies. 
You're throwing around quite quite a lot of cargo. Maybe you can be convinced to start on the Starlight Path by donating. Or are they purple? I don't know. What's their thing? To be honest, I think these factions are a bit too meme -y for your taste. Um, There are superly high meme -y factions that you can install. I tried to select only the factions that would be lore friendly. It's believable that you could see a society of big-brained enlightenment following assholes that are just saying that because they just want to steal money off the poor and just off the populace. Ah, oh, man. Um... Okay, so apparently I only have one shot of giving up the supplies. They want to fight. We'll move into engage, and we're going to try to kill just enough so we can uh, walk away afterwards. I'm going to tell the brawler to stay near the Heron, and I'm going to be sticking near the Heron like a fly on shit. And hopefully we kill enough so we can survive. Once you reach the end of the mid-game, you could grind the Cabal fleets for easy ships with built-in mods and overall better base. Yeah, true, true. True, true. Oh my fucking god. We need to stay close to each other if we want to make it out alive. Let's try to go for those wolves. Just push them off. Okay, okay you can return to the fleet. Don't stay too far. Yeah, I know that the Cabal Doom will still fuck my shit up. But against phase frigates... We just need to stick together so they don't flank us. And we need to outlast their CP. I think that would be the best course of action. We just wait for their CP to fuck off. So this is a waiting game. We're going to probably be using some ships. We're just going to use the Heron to strike their shit a bit. Going to turn out to help. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Almost. A little bit of damage on that prick. Ooh, that Tempest is going to be a problem. My baby boy, no! Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, you see it's trying to get into my butt. I'm gone. This is a wipe. Yep, that's a wipe. That's what happens. It happens. I don't think... No. We can't get away. There's no point in me taking control of the Heron, because I... I won't be able to do a better job than the AI. Mm -hmm. Unlucky rubber ducky. They do, they do. There's, there's no way for us to keep them at bay. All of order of full retreat of what? Uh attempt this there's literally a colossus man attempt to disengage transfer command for disengagement continue yeah they pass through the through my ships and go for the butt they like that yeah okay oh look my colossus is gonna get destroyed yeah they're quite powerful the Cabal, in general, is super powerful. I'm not gonna be able to make it out of here alive, yep. I can shit some flare cannons, but that's it, I just- it's just shit again. Ah, oh, that's a rough start. That's a rough fucking start. Fuck you, Cabal. Fleet is scattered and you yourself barely escape in the command pod. After a while, you're picked up by a passing salvage fleet and taken back to civilization. Eventually, you will acquire another couple of craft and are able to ply the space the to fly to fly the space lanes once again. That's a typo right there. So we are now in the O R A. Where are the fuck are we? 
We're in the Valis star system. What the hell did I get? I got a... Oh my god, I have some shitty stuff. Okay. Oh great, we have augmented drive fields here. Nice. So I got a small little wayfarer and a kite. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> okay. Anything interesting up in, up in here? Did I lose my officer as well? Oh no, no, I still have the officer. That's nice. Good luck with the kite. Oh no, no, no. That's a... Mm -mm. There's a... There's a Dominator and the Talon mod. A Dominator with a face cloak. Kind of crazy. Oh, that sounds horrible. Never really got the hang of the face face ships, but... Now that I know how to fly a ship with the shift button... Thank you, Eric Nader. I think I would be able to handle them a little bit better. A Taylor. Light Destroyer. Nah, I think we're gonna lay low and just fly the fly the lanes and get get some more drugs. I think that would be the best course of action. Um, actually, the drugs over here are not really that expensive, so I might go and do that. Uh, what's the ship capacity? So what can I do? Hello, Dreamers. Welcome to the end. Um, car capacity 150. What mods am I using? Uh, type an exclamation one mod list, and then you'll see, good sir. HPI. What should we call this? Old Earth or Bust? Nah. It's gonna take a while now to buy some big ships. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to play it safe a bit. We are not in a combat position. We'll have to lay low and fly safe. I think that would be the best course of action. Probably take the capacitors off. Uh, that's gonna be fine. It's an okay setup. I probably want a railgun on it instead of a light dual auto cannon um that's fine keep the light assault gun sure we don't want to run it too hot even though it's already a little bit hot do i got an expanded cargo holds yes i do and that would give me a 45 extra that's okay is ora still a huge pain in the butt or did they fix it um never really had problems with the ora they still have a lot of energy-based weapons, if I remember correctly. So we're going to call this the Wayfarer... Not the Wayfarer. Uh, HPI... Trucker hat. Yeah. Booty truck. The HPI, no drugs on board, I promise. There we go. Just, so, just to make it a little bit cooler. The N-D-O-B. Yeah. The n -dob. We will be the only ones who know what the abbreviation stands for. And it's not even true. Okay. Let's hope we can make some runs. Repair get myself around 60 supplies get myself around a hundred holy fuck nope fill up the tanker there we go when you use ora back in 0.9a uh, had more and bigger fleets to the point of steamrolling the persian alliance by itself no i don't think that's that's uh, the case anymore the iss cum buster nice our transponder's currently turned on, so let's just buy some drugs on, on the open market. I don't think they mind. Uh, Captain Starworks Pirates in the Isara star system would like some drugs, so let's deliver. Fill up. Okay. Buy 120. 25, that's cool. And we'll buy the rest of the drugs off the black market. Nobody knows. Hello, Zeofoser. Yes, new game. We just started. I lost my fleet. <laughs> Get it because the Promethean MK2 is very combustible. Oh my good god. Yes, you're right. Holy shit. I see. 
I see that you have made the funny, brother. Okay, let's run some stuff. So we're going to Isira. Isira is there. We have enough to get there. Let's see the cap tank Star Wars. Let's go. You're still playing. You're still waiting for the SWP update. I'm waiting for the Salt Baconian update. Oh, I wish I wish they would bring the Salt Baconian to this version. What's SWP? Good sir. Rip. Yeah, I know. It, it was my fault. It was my fault. I risk it for a chocolate biscuit. It's quite dangerous walking with drugs inside the Tritachion territories right now because they got a they got quite a few big boob booms in there. So right now we're just gonna be a small, inconspicuous trader, just taking goods from one location to the other. Uh the ship weapon pack adds the boss bounties. Ooh, right so which specific mod is that one? I miss the boss bounties. Mm, okay, dodge. Oh, dodge that mean looking cloud. Productivity tool. I don't really care. To be honest, we are consuming very little fuel. Okay, so Isira. Hello, Isira. The Captain Starworks are over here. Sutra, we're going to jump at Corb. Corb is right here by the looks of it. Yeah, that would be Corb. Uh, hold. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna go dark. We're gonna do this the right way. So is it still not available for this? Actually, go with normal speed. For now, until we're on approach vector. Once we're close, we're gonna go dark. As soon as we see a blip, we stop and we go dark. Going dark. Okay, approach vector is clear. Sup, bubble gums? We're in. Get trade. Black market. Mm. Get paid. Beautiful. Yeah, we're gonna be, be doing a few sh a few runs like that. I'm gonna be trying to acquire a l another cargo ship. We're gonna stay away from combat until we get some money going. Uh, do they have any... Speaking of combat, do they have anything interesting? They got some pikes that I'd like to have. I'll take them on board. Um, two rail guns would be great. You guys have any, have any of them rail guns? Practically prepping for another hammerhead or something. They got a Colossus. On the black market, any, anything that's worth traveling with. You want your EOS back? I'm sure you do, man. What's the exact name of the mod? Premiers? Ship's Weapon Pack? That's it? But yeah, those boss bounties are cool. Oh, it's the mod that adds the Phillips head, the Phillips head to the game, right? Oh, the Phillips head. Mmm. Mmm. Such a sexy, sexy ship. Loved it. It's it's a hammerhead with three with three front or flippers. So instead of having two heads, it has three. And a big dick. Mm. Oh, that pe that penis side. Okay. Colossus, what do you got on you? Uh, da -da 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 Degraded dry field, erratic fuel injector, and compromised storage. Well, that's a piece of shit that I'm not going to buy. Thank you very much. Fuck no. Information. Please, uh, we need to go to best place to buy. I'm not going to go to High Brazil anymore. The Cabal made me scared of that place. Let's go to Tarth Tharthesis. I think we're going to have an easier time infiltrating there for now. Yeah, let's go there. There's a cruiser-sized hammerhead in the Thalon mod as well. It's called the Fuka. The Foca? Oh, I, I've seen the Focas. So it's a it's a cruiser-sized hammerhead? I'll keep it in mind. I'll check it out. Thank you, good sir. Thank you. I know I know that hammerheads are pretty goddamn basic, but I like them. I like them, okay? Uh, ooh, we could do some heavy armaments trade. Ooh, that's interesting. 
Um, and the price for heavy armaments is not really that bad over here. Yeah, let's get, let's take some heavy armaments and supply them to Quaras. Four ballistics and ammo feeder, but it's more like a broadsider. I'm okay with a broadsider. To be honest, I like broadsiders. Broadsiders are love. Broadsiders are life. So we're going to be taking these to Quaras in the Yama Star System. Yama, 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 stand, pink, stand, pink. Where's that? Oh, that's a, that's a Romanian sack. Sorry about that. Uh, Yama. Okay, I'm lost. In which direction is Yama? Uh, northeast east. Northeast east. Where the fuck am I? Is it literally in front of me and I'm not seeing it? Yajina, Yama, there we, there it is. Yep, 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 it was right in front of me. We are going to go to Quaras. Probably going to be jumping through the Yama B point, and then walking towards it. We'll see. Let's get the fuck out of here. Burn it. Oh, what, what did I see? I saw something over there. Oh, fuck. Dodged. Is it trying to run after me? Disengaging from the Captivating Star Works. Go out of there. Go out of there. Go, 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 go. We're out of there. And we're gone. We're just going to be gathering money. And we're going to be building this kind of merchantile fleet. And we're going to be playing a lot on the trade market. And then once I feel comfortable with our finances, we're going to start getting a bit into combat ships we're gonna try to go from small to big hello speaking of small a buffalo class freighter increased maintenance degraded dry fuel then compromised storage and erratic fuel injector oh well, that's a piece of shit not nah, break it down that'll do dodge the my hustle is going to be supreme dude I'm going to be hustling and bustling as much as I can I just need to be careful to not get into any fights that would be the idea because we are a small juicy morsel for anybody right now Gonna dodge these the storms a bit. Bounty hunters don't give a shit about me. And we're here. Okay, let's let's see if we have a good jump point inside the system. Could go Huascar, but that's pretty close to the authorities. Could try to jump at the Warava. But it's gonna be a little bit hot. Okay, let's try to jump in at Warava. And see if we Keep the transponder off and go dark. Okay. Okay. We didn't burn too too hard. Moving to take control of the comm relay. Okay, that's a defensive pirate fleet by the looks of it. Biting my my lip. Be oh my god, please. Oh, oh god. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Good, and touch it. Glorious. Trade. As soon as we leave this place, we're going to make a run for it. Sell all of those heavy armor and 200. Mmm, that's some good shit. You guys uh, exporting anything? You're exporting organics. And you're also exporting volatiles, crewmen, and marines. Interesting. Okay, I'll bite. Uh, first of all, sell that shit. Keep that. Uh, local deficiency of non supplies. We're not going to be buying any supplies here, but those supplies should keep us going for a while. How much for the Marines? Uh, Marines 130 a pop. And there's Marines needed in Chalcedon for 344. That's not bad. How about for crewmen? Crewmen are, are cheaper and they're just 37 at the land space. Nah. 
Organics, 9 per unit, 72 at Anargea. No, thank you. Anything interesting inside here? Rock Hound, Hermes. Colossus MK3, nope. Buffalo Destroyer, Brawler, nothing interesting. Nothing jumping at me, hey, take me, I'm yours. We're going to be grabbing those Marines. And we're going to be taking those Marines to Chalcedon in the Kumari Kandam. I think that would be the most lucrative opportunity right now. So, blup it up to Marines, 11k. And since we're in the area, anything else that we can take towards Calcedon? Hmm, lot of church, 25, no. No. I guess we're just gonna smuggle some marines. Not seeing anything else yelling at me. Telling me to buy it. Okay, that's fine, we'll just smuggle some marines. A little bit of waste of space, but... Not seeing any... Ah, excess stockpile of volatiles, 152, that's okay. Oh, shit, we can actually make a quick buck at Sindria. Ooh, it, it would be very difficult for us to infiltrate Sindria. Um, but we're small, we're fast. Let's give it a shot. How are we looking on fuel? Probably okay, but let's fill up the tanker. Asconia's right there. And we need to go to where with those marines? Chalcedon. There. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make a quick stop at Asconia and then go towards Kumari Kadam, and this is probably going to go horrible. Probably going to go horribly. But Sindria always wants more volatiles, so that's a thing. Um, we also have the option of just going in there with our transponder on. Run for it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hope we're not going to be intercepted by the authorities on their way out, because we currently have our transponder off, which is a little bit illegal in the eyes of the major factions. There's only specific factions that don't mind us having our transponder off, like the like Prison Freeport. They don't give a shit. So let's get the fuck away. Hello, we leveled up. You actually gain levels if you do profitable trades, so it is an option for you to just go and be a trade boss. We will decrease the monthly supply consumption of our boys. I prefer the supply consumption over the fuel. I don't know why. And we are now consuming a 0.1 supplies per day. So those supplies are going to keep us going for a while. We're only a fight going on over there in the, on the southern quadrant. Let's check that shit out. I assume it's pirates versus Persians, but maybe we can salvage something. Oh, standing down. Oh my god, please. Did you see me? Yeah, pursuing my fleet. Get the fuck away. We're out of here. Fuck that. Nope. There. Jump and run away. Go, 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 go. Ah, Cabal bitches. Wait. Pursuing Cabal Prowlers. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fight. I'm not going to be able to fight and help that, sadly. Might be a good idea to get one or two combat ships. But we're okay for now. Do I just sell these in Sindria with our transponder on? It would be less risky. And Sindrians would be powerful friends. They could supply us with a lot of guns and ships. Who the fuck are you? Merchant Sol Caravan. Convoy delivering Marines to Salamanca. Okay, don't give a shit. Okay, wait, let's check and see what's the current situation at Sindria. Where, where do we need to jump first? So Sindria is literally right here. Uh, we can jump over here, but it might be defended. Any, we could try the Salas L5 jump point. Hmm. What's up, Kiwi? Wait for what? Yeah, I had to. 
Do the transponder up and go dark. Let's see. Holy fuck, they're right here. Oh man, it's like they read my mind. What are they doing? Guarding the Salas L5 jump point. Shit. Okay, okay. If we were a little bit bigger. Oh shit, I think they see me. Oh yep, yeah, they see me. We're out of there. Evasive actions, evasive actions. Run away. Ooh, there's a big fleet. Oh, that's a big fleet. Okay, we're out of range. Gonna try to get in that asteroid field and walk away. Oh boy, they see me. And bloop, going dark. Do I have anything illegal on board? Not really. I don't. Okay, is marine trafficking illegal in the Sindrian Dictat space? Uh, so illegal commodities, recreational drugs, heavy armaments, harvested organs, and AI cores. Good. We don't have anything of the sorts on the on our ship. So that's nice. But I still don't want to pay taxes for those volatiles. So it would be very cool. Okay, we are sitting open here. 45. Oh my god, did they see me? Ah, <gasps> oh shit. Turn on the transponder. Yeah, yeah. Suck my left nut. Ah, oh man. They literally walked in me. okay hi guys this is what i wanted to do all along trade and just give them volatiles okay the price for volatiles went bad ah crap it seems they received a volatile shipment recently i don't even remember what, what price that i buy these for reminds me a little bit of a kenshi with the different factions and different rules yeah yeah it's it's similar to kenshi in that regard. Um, suspicion level, none. I could sell 100 over on the open market. There we go. And then sell the rest on the black market. Yeah, suspicion is limit, lim <laughs> minimal, not liminal. Minimal. How much for drugs, man? No. Uh, that's interesting. I'll be grabbing that. It's going to be a tool that we're going to use later. Do they still want... Uh, yeah, they still want Marines over at Chalcedon, so that's good. What do you guys export here? Nothing much. Could try to grab some Vulture and Lobsters from Voltern. And sell them for somewhere for some profit. Legally speaking, sadly. Any interesting ships that you boys might have? Oh boy, speaking of the Foca. Foca light cruiser. Probably focus on a powerful ballistic broadside equipped with advanced ammo feeders. While fielding impressive firepower, the ship itself is quite fragile and relies on a hit and run flyby maneuver to stay alive while dealing with its damage. That sounds fun. That sounds quite fun. Let's stay small for now. I know that I wanted to buy a Colossus, but at least we know where we can find some. But let's stay small for now. I'm going to do a quick... Quick stop at Volturn to check on the prices on lobsters. I think Volturn is the only location that produces lobsters, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, this is... This is a heavy militarized... Uh, star system. I need some, yes, but not just yet. I haven't really seen any fighter at all that really jumps and says, Oh my god, please take me, I'm yours. Let's see if they have anything interesting up here. A dire wolf. Ooh, man. Large energy, medium energy, two small missiles, four small energy. Ooh, man, that is a sexy ship. Degraded shields and faulty automated systems. Well, that is completely useless to me. Oh, there's a swordsman that I could grab. It's not going to be able to fend off pirates for long, but it's better than a herald carrier. What the fuck is that thing? That's, is that a Mayasuran ship? For a carrier to herald sports an impressive armament that would give pause to any cruiser and a number of battle cruisers and possess a sizable fighter complement. Five fighter bays. 
Oh, that is a big boy. Oh, that is a big boy. Five fighter bays, one large missile, one large ballistic, two medium ballistics. Ooh. It is not a battleship by any means, its armor being somewhat limited to maintain favorable tactical mobility. This versatile hull can be outfitted to rely mainly on either its armaments or its fighter force. But the design shines on the battlefield when neither are ignored. Interesting. Now that is a cool ship that I would love to play around with. I don't think that's going to be today. Crane Compass of Freighter. Uh, no, I think it's a cruiser-sized ship. Let's see. It might be a capital-sized ship. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't really know where to look to tell. Herald-class carrier. I guess you can utilize it as a flagship. You can literally build a fleet around it. Scolopendra phase cruiser. A blockhead, barbarian, Stratus or Bronco. Okay, what do you boys have for sale? Said you can make your own faction. Uh, then are you gonna get focused from the other factions, or it depends? It depends. Usually they'll leave you alone, unless you talk shit, and, and then afterwards you'll get smacked. Practically, uh, your faction will be influenced by the relations that you have with your own with your own little ship, you know. So if your fleet is at war with a certain faction, you will probably be at war with that faction once you make your once you make your own. So the idea is you make a f exactly like in Warband, but you don't need right to rule on any of that shit. You just need to follow the rules. So for example, major factions that have illegal that ban the usage of AI cores. Are you listening in? <laughs> Uh, that ban the usage of AI cores um, will usually have something to pick with you if you use AI cores to manage to administer, administer, administrate, administrate your uh, colony. So if you use AI cores, the hegemony will come knocking in. Inspection, are you, excuse me, sir, have you seen any AI cores around here? And then you'll usually want to either pay a bribe or make that inspection fleet disappear oh. yes my what is what I my food I see okay thank you all right sure I'm gonna be ending this room in a bit um so yeah yeah for example if you rely a lot on heavy industry the Lovick path will come knocking in and so on and so forth how many ships you need to even think about your own faction? Oh, uh, you just need around 1,000 supplies, 1,000 crew members, and to spare. And then a certain number of heavy machinery to make your own faction. And of course, a habitable world. Hmm? Inspection fleets are probably the hardest human fleets in the game. Hmm. So, yes, Hortak. We're, we're both Romanian. What? What? We're, we're living in Romania. Seems easy? Uh-huh. Yeah, but the shit, shit starts going wrong, and... You'll need to prep. Why are you guys talking in English? Uh, so you guys can know what we're talking about? I did this for you. Uh, Captain Starworks. They want them delicious lobsters. Sure. Sure, man. Yeah, you, you feel blessed, okay? You you feel blessed. Uh, let me get a hundred and fifty of them lobsters up in this bish. And fill up the rest with black market lobsters. Uh, but we will still go for Chalcedon. And then we're going to return to Isira to sell those lobsters for a profit. So let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, suspicion level is none. We go to Chalcedon in the Kumari Kadam, blah, blah. Chalcedon would be... Oh, that is going to be tricky, but hey! There is no reward without its risks. Asconia is one of... It's such a high population um, 
star system, it's very, very hard to infiltrate. Anything interesting happened? Mm, no, my wife simply told me that dinner is ready. That's it. Oh, what the fuck is that? You missed a big part of today's stream. You'll check the VOD later. Oh, no worries. Well, practically, we got our initial fleet to screw. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in. Oh sh Yeah, crap. I think I can defeat these guys. Move into engage. Continue. I think I could beat them up. Uh, everything's going to be on auto fire. Let's give it a shot. We just need to be careful and not get surrounded. Going to try to hit that sidecar. The kite is going to act as a distraction. Let's go in. Come on, light it up, light it up, light it up. Deactivating shields. Fucking die. Make it go boom, make it go boom. Please. Okay. Vent it up, vent it up. Did the kite get destroyed? Oh, yeah. Kite is gone. I repeat. Kite is gone. Open flares. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, that thing just hit like a truck. No. All of my shit. All of my shit. I'm gone. I was lo Arenir, I lost my fleet, and this is not a combat-oriented ship. Okay, that one got... scared a bit. Oh my god. Okay, focus on this thing. Don't let it touch its butt. Okay, we it touched our butt. Yes, I get what I deserve, of course. You know what? Yeah. is scattered and then we just walk away and we get something else and what do I get? Ah, oh, it's the same. It's the same combination. Of course it is. Where the fuck are we? In the Golden of Star System. So we're back to scratch, but we still have some cash on us. That's okay. Hmm? Um, um, didn't notice. Maybe, maybe I was supposed to do that. I'm not really familiar with smaller fleets. Trade. You boys have any good shit to, to... Oh, you got volatiles. Okay. Some good stuff here. Well, technically we have enough money to buy ourselves a combat ship. Hello, Mingot. Welcome to the end. Uh, hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. Me getting my ass kicked and Eric Nader chewing me out. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jur Azray, thank you for becoming a follower, my dude. Welcome to the hit point 10. Sanctuary Destroyer. I haven't really played around with the ORIA ships that much. Might be an interesting thing to check. Okay, first of all, we'll check what type of weapons they have. What happened to the first fleet? I uh, got caught by a Cabal fleet and they just destroyed me. I'll die a few times, that's true. Let's see, what do they got? They got Gallant ra Light Railguns. I think this is a longer range, but weaker... Well, Railgun. If I remember correctly. Are they a general weapon? No, they're anti-shield. Fuck. Ah, uh, they run quite hot by the looks of it. Give me... Machine Guns on the side. Okay, fuck it. Give me... No, that's there's no point in having one of those there. And just another PD. Small PD, thank you. Okay, let's see. How do the gallants shoot? Deploy. I really hope I put my vents on. Okay, it can keep an enemy at bay, 
But the projectile is a little bit on the slower side. Oh, and there I go. <laughs> nah. Undo. Strip it. Uh, mono monograms will be shit. They literally have only gallon stuff. Oh no, they have their energy focused. I forgot about that. They're energy focused, and that's shitty. Uh, but I will add instead of a light dual auto cannon, I'm gonna be adding that uh, gallant light railgun. Yeah, I think this should perform a little bit better. There's an ion cannon on my side. What the fuck is this? Um, might switch that. Wait, is this a composite? It is. We can equip energy weapons on this thing. L Lydney thrower. Yeah. Okay, real quick check. Blah, blah, blah. Probably not going to do shit. I don't think I can take out a lasher with this thing. Applying the pressure. Oh, now it's on. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm a coming for you. Here. Take some of this. Well, we're not over fluxing right off the bat, and that's good. But we can't fight. This is this is not a combat situation. I can't. Oh, please tell me that. Oh, uh, the transaction was confirmed. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll I'll keep this set up for now. I can't add anyone any add any more events. That's okay. Uh, fleet by Prometheus. Blah. Sanctuary destroyer. Faulty power grid. Or a mint condition sanctuary. Hmm. I'll see. I'll see. I'll probably grab this and we'll play around with it next time. Uh, as in tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy the destroyer and we're gonna equip it and we're gonna have some fun with it next time. So that's gonna be it for today. If you guys like what I do, please hit that follow button. It really helps me out. Makes the channel grow, makes everything more awesome. If you want to further support me, also subscribe. If you're on YouTube, I have multiple guides and playthroughs that you guys can check out. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. That's it. Uh, Mindgot89, thank you for becoming a follower. Welcome to Hitpoint 10. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, and wish you boys and girls a wonderful, wonderful day.